I'm, I'm back. <laughs> oh, I was talking for so long. <laughs> I, <laughs> I dropped my stream deck and I was like, I don't know what buttons I pressed. <laughs> Press the one button I shouldn't. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so funny, actually. I I was, like, scared because I have, like, a kill switch button that's for, like, if bad things happen, I can, like, cut the chat. So I was, like, scared I clicked that. No, I, like, forgot that I have... <laughs> I forgot that I have a stream on and off button. I should just get rid of that. That's just gonna be, like, chaos for me, I feel like. The shock on your face and <laughs> The drama! The drama! Oh my god. Bye, everybody. I'm out. <laughs> Where? I I don't get what I did with this. Where's the thing that makes it stand taller? Oh, there's another piece. There's another piece. Everybody, there's another piece. Uh, but now you can see the live studio audience. I cut, to, I cut to them earlier. I did get the stream deck working. So, for my stream deck... I don't know if it's the same with everyone's, but in order for it to work, I have to open up the Stream Deck application as administrator, or else it just does, it, nothing happens. Um, I know Mercury in retrograde. I feel like I'm a little nervous. Okay, so I got the CoStar app, right? I got the CoStar app last time I was visiting my friends because my friend Kyla is very into like the new agey new age what year is it <laughs> the like spiritual not spiritual astrology astrology stuff um and for so long it was like everything is bad Ev everything is bad and now it's not but i'm like mercury's in retrograde so like is it good vibes or bad vibes space i need you to let me know how i should be feeling <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just let the planets guide me. My, I need to get new jeans. These just- I've, all my clothes are fitting me very strangely lately. Drives me up the wall. That's it. Um, I don't remember what we're talking about. Can't have those things around me. I'd be a mess. Hello, G! How are you, my lady? I've sat under my moon, so I'm not in a good mood. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Gabe. I, yeah, oh my god, the clothes struggle right now. It's so hard because I'm like, stop buying clothes. Just don't buy clothes. Hello, Vercelli. Uh, I'm like, yeah, just wear the clothes you have. You have a lot of clothes. Like, I have had the sweatshirt, or the sweater since I was in college, like freshman year of college. It's been, it's been like eight, almost eight years. Almost eight. That seems way too long. Six years. <laughs> Seven years? Um, but yeah. I, it's just a lot of stuff's not fitting me great. A lot of stuff is like too big or too small and I'm like, what size am I? I don't know. I'm excited to watch you play games that are older than my grandmother. Of course, Bercelli. You're, you're, you're very young grandmother. Um, are you, are you okay? Well, I see black. How's everyone? Oh no, Nixie, I hope it all loads okay. I got a cute thing to alter slightly. I, I have some dresses I need to alter. I have a dress. Oh my god. So I'm just... Ah, ooh, I feel so chaotic. Um, I'm going to a birthday party this weekend for my friend. It's also my birthday party. I'm having a birthday party. Um, but we're all wearing colors for it. So I chose green because I have a green dress I like. But I think it... I don't think it fits me very well. I'm going to have to try it on and make adjustments to it. Thank you, Gabe. It's actually... My birthday's actually tomorrow. So we'll, we're gonna do a little stream. We're gonna do a stream for it. Be careful, they're saying there is mercury in Gatorade. <laughs> oh, oh no. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear for our, the Halloween thing I'm going to this weekend. And then also trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear for the birthday party. Clo it's just clothing. It's stressful. It's stressful. Oh, thank you all for the happy birthdays. Again, I, I will be doing a little birthday stream um, tomorrow. And I, I found a bunch of some older videos. So I was thinking we might do some fun, like, nostalgia stuff um, where I share some of my old videos. Thank you, Make Your Chair, for, for making me uh, remember that... Um, I broke stream by accident. 
Uh, yeah, what is everybody being? Wait, yeah, what are all of you being for Halloween? I get the red suit from Squid Games. <gasps> Fun! Oh my god, wait, I still need to watch Squid Game. I keep going in between whether or not I'm gonna watch it. I keep like building up the confidence to be like, yeah, I can handle it. I can handle Squid Game. And then I like, then I like go to open it up and I'm like, I can't, I can't handle it. Oh, you have the same Switch? I love this Switch. I love this Switch so much. It's so cute. We match! Briselli, we're twins. I don't- Oh, I don't know, but the rest of my D&D stream is just like, oh, wait, so that's so cute, that's so fun. Are you- Is D&D- Oh, that'll be a Sunday for you, right? When you're- When you're all playing together. <gasps> fun! No idea yet, I'm so bad at planning costumes. Fun! Uh, I know, it's hard. I'm freaking out about the costume thing. Um... Okay, also, also, I had part of Squid Game spoiled for me because people were jokingly comparing it to Danganronpa and they were like, this character is exactly like this character. And I'm like, if that means what I think it means, you just spoiled stuff for me. <laughs> they compared someone, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to spoil, they, they compared one character to another and I was like, <gasps> if that means what I think it means. I know what this means. So we'll see. Uh, maybe I'll finally watch it and, and I'll have everything spoiled for me. <laughs> I got our husband to be Jason. Cute, cute. I want to do couple costume. I've never got to do a couple costume. The only time I was ever like dating someone where we were like at the same place at the same time for Halloween. Our outfits, outfits did not match at all, and in retrospect, were very cringe. It was like it was a cr it was a cringe moment. It was like a a a, a black spot in my like how I I I mean I looked really cute, but he was cringe. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> what is up with me today? I feel so hyper. <laughs> See that? Have you seen? I have not seen Alice in Borderlands. Is it similar vibes where it's like death game vibes? My boyfriend and I went as a raccoon in trash. That is so cute. Ah, uh, that is so cute. Oh my god. I love I love couple costumes. Like matching costumes are so cute. And I never never go wear them. I think. Oh, one thing I was thinking. So for this Halloween thing I'm going to, what if I'm a cowgirl? But like, like, hear me out. Hear me out. So sliding on the floor i have this corset could this be cowgirl i don't know if it's actually cowgirl vibes because i i have this corset with the like sleeve things <laughs> why am i rolling on everything ever that i've ever needed no no <laughs> the hat is stuck under my chair <laughs> Okay, this is... <laughs> I'm about to lose it. <laughs> Can be real saloon girl. Okay, yeah, because I, I have... I have this and this. I don't have cowgirl boots. Gabe, that's the issue. That's the issue, everyone. I don't have the boots, which I feel like are kind of essential to make the look work. Oh, no. Okay, I'm trying to give you the illusion of this fit. Hat on. Wow, beautiful lady in a corset. The pinks don't actually match, but we can pretend. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna wear. I'm putting on. I'm putting on a show tonight. <laughs> Some boot socks, maybe. Maybe. Ugh. I have just like such little time to get stuff too, so I'm gonna really f just figure stuff out. Man, I wish I just bought cowboy boots. I don't. I have like knee high black boots. Pirate, okay, my friend is being a pirate though. We could double up on pirate, but then my friend who's being a witch, you know, that offsets the balance of pirates. To <laughs> I'm, being, I'm being a little over dramatic with this in case it's not obvious. Yeah, I have some ankle booties. I do have those. Of course, it's adorable. Thank you, Lemon. I, heart, I don't get to wear them very often. So part of me is like, this is a great time to wear it for the Halloween times. So I'll just figure something out. 
Of course it could be pirate. It could be a witch pirate. Oh my god. Be a ball jointed doll. I wish I had those socks with the ball joints. Angel or devil. Ooh. I could I could Could I be a devil? Am I devilish? <laughs> Ghost prince, a ghost. Ooh, just I'm gonna put a sheet on. <laughs> just be a sheet ghost. Flapper girl would be cute too. Ah, it's just hard with the clothes I have. I feel like ghost could be fun. I wonder, cause I have like white dresses. I could put on like a bunch of white, like a white dress and like layer stuff. And the corset maybe. No, it's me either. I know, it's so hard. Cause last year, I didn't do anything for Halloween. Like I dressed up for D&D, &D, but I didn't do anything in the evening. So it was like really easy. I wore my prom dress, which was fun. <laughs> I haven't worn my prom dress in a very long time. Yeah, this year it feels very hard. Cause I usually like, sounds kind of uncool of me, but I don't usually have a lot going on. I could be Ron Weasley. Wait, I, cause I have my like round, Glasses. Are they over here? I don't know where I put them. Because I do have my like hot, hairy, you know, glasses. Secret vibe. Oh, mushroom fairy. Oh my god, cute. Wait, 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 wait. Syphy. Syphy owes me her mushroom hat. So I'll just get it and then mail it to you. Also, Lemon, that's gonna be adorable. <laughs> I love the like, the like red with the white freckles. Like, so cute. So cute. Be the new DVD. I could be the new DVD character. Oh my god, Gabe, that's, that was so much text. I felt so shocked. <laughs> Speaking of sheet ghosts, when I was seven, my mom forgot to buy his costumes and I wanted to dress up. So my sister cut out holes in his sheet and said to go as a ghost. Cute. So I went to school. So when my teacher told me to take off the sheet to see my face, I didn't want to because no one told me to wear my clothes under it. And all I have is underwear. Gabe, no. That's traumatic. That's stressful. Yes, that lemon, that's gonna be so cute. I wanna get new eyeshadow, new makeup. I wanna do fun makeup. I have very limited makeup. So when my mom went to pick me up, she took a million photos of me. Oh no. That's stressful. I went to visit my parents and they were telling me about an NPR show they were listening to. Um. Oh, gotta go to sleep. Sad I keep missing me. Aw, Lemon, no worries. Dude, you got you have a busy life. Good night, sweet dreams. It is always so lovely to have you. I hope you sleep well. Be cozy. Have a good night. Um, My parents were watching or listening to an NPR story about like people's most embarrassing moments. I could not. Who can listen to that for fun? Stresses me out. Life is hard enough. <laughs> My husband was watching the remake and was like, babe, if this is the Jason you want me to be, and I'm like, babe, if you want to be Jason, you have to be proper Jason. Not me. <laughs> the standard is set. Should I be a skeleton? I'll just tape him on my, my body. I'll bring Munchlax. Pokemon trainer? I could. Wizard cat? I want a wizard cape. I have a cape. So I, ha oh my God, I have a cloak. I should just be an elf. I need to find my elf ears and I can be an elf. Probably. That feels like a cop-out somehow, because it just, it's like I have all of it. <laughs> Zombie! I could. I could also be Kate from Dead by Daylight. I could be Misty! <gasps> Do I have overalls? What does Misty wear? Oh, she doesn't have overalls. She has suspenders. I wonder if I can make that work. I do, I do have a, the other thing I was thinking was I could be Miss Frizzle, except the dress I would wear has like a good amount of cleavage. And I like, I feel like I don't want to like possibly sexualize Miss Frizzle. Like that should, that should not, you know, I don't know. I feels wrong. <laughs> I guess it's just my body and like there's nothing wrong with my body, but I feel, I don't know. I feel weird, weird vibes. Let me eat my apple again. She wears shorts and suspenders and a yellow shirt. Yeah, sexy Miss Frizzle feels like, Oh, weird vibes. Which young boy has? Ah. <laughs> ah. I 
I keep starting to eat an apple every time before I stream, and then I, like, can't get through it. I don't know why eating apples is so hard. Alright, should we play? I think the Miku chair is ready. Ready for a gaming moment. You should dress up as the annoying redhead kid from the magic school bus <laughs> in sectionals. <laughs> Wait, what's his name? What's his name? He's like, not again, right? Um, is it Arnold? Is that me? Oh my god, it is Arnold. Oh, if only I had the right shirt. Wait, he wears glasses too. That's a little on the nose, don't you think? Oh, he plays tuba? Can't relate. Can't relate. <laughs> Let me open this bad boy up. Oh, that's not my downloads. Perfect. Okay, wait. I'm ready. It's me. I'm- I'm- I- just give me a tuba, baby. <laughs> they go in his body in that one episode. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I always think of the terrifying scene where he takes his helmet off in space. <laughs> Chucky from Rugrats. I know, we have the same- Wait, I actually have, like, proper, like, circle glasses, too. I don't know where I leave them. I hide my glasses around my house so I find them at fun, surprising moments. And I'm like, oh. I forgot I had this bear. I forgot I had this one. And I don't have a yellow striped shirt. That's the one, one limiting factor. I only have black and white striped shirts. I could be a burglar. I've done that before. I've been a burglar before. With me and my, me and my black and white striped shirts. I could do that again. Except I don't want to wear a mask. I get, oh, I'll probably be wearing a face mask anyways though. Huh. Huh, I'll figure it out. The Hamburglar! Oh my god, Anima! <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> he has red hair, doesn't he? Wait, that's so perfect. It's me. <laughs> Why is that? Why is this so perfect? <laughs> like, tell me. I couldn't, you know. Wow. Have you ever, have you, do you ever, do you ever exist? My peers. Who was talking about that the other day? I don't remember. Dye my hair neon orange. Oh, siren will match, except I have to let mine fade for the wedding. The wedding! <laughs> Because I'm not going to stand out. It, I'm not going to make myself be that person at someone else's wedding. With with neon hair. I can't. That would make me feel bad. Okay, let's play a game. <laughs> Should we play? Should we, are we playing a game? Are we, am I a streamer? Have I been in the retro category for... <laughs> Only 20 minutes. You know what? That's not my worst. It's <laughs> not my worst time. <laughs> Um, oh, I forgot that I have to switch my monitor. Give me a second. Oh, no. Ooh, how do I do that? I killed it. Yeah, I, I know. I, I am going to wear a white dress. It's only right, right? <laughs> white dress, neon orange hair. I think I think I would get killed. And I would like be like, you know what? <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> maybe maybe legally the bride should be allowed to kill me no i don't know what i'm gonna wear yet either it's a little stressy to be honest i think callie's home or someone's upstairs i'm assuming it's callie mary gets broken house broken into live on stream <laughs> uh where we left off um our friend Shin died. I say friend very loosely. The man died. And just the cats? Could be. What if they've combined to become a human? The cats are 
<laughs> that our powers combine. <laughs> They're just like hopping really strategically to like <laughs> sound like footsteps. To be fair, Ziva did figure out she could get on the counter, which has been the worst. <laughs> Kajita's wares. <laughs> I don't remember any of the Khajiit voice lines. I love the Khajiits. They're my favorite in Skyrim. Oh no. Okay, yeah. So, uh, our friend who was the man who was very scared in the bathroom stall has died. Died at some point. Guys, it hurts my soul a little. I wore a white dress to my brother's wedding years ago. I had a colorful flowers on it and a black belt, but I still wear... I feel I feel I, it's probably okay, Anima. It's probably okay. If it had, if it had a print... It's probably okay. They didn't make you leave, so it wasn't that bad. <laughs> no, I'm sure it was okay. Those are creepy hands. So we've been playing for two, two and a half hours. I think Callie is home. She hasn't gave a yeehaw though, but I could also just be like, hi Callie, are you there? Oh. And the hateful mother-in-laws that were- I know! I don't get that! For Selly, knock it off! <laughs> Young man in my chat. Um, I don't actually know if you're younger or older than me. Uh, in my birthday tomorrow, I am turning 25 years young. Toll. Oh, my wee alarm is going off and it scared me. Well, also, my sister-in-law wife is too nice to have said anything. Have her... Yeah, I, f I feel like you're good. It had colors. Um. What is happening? What was I supposed to be doing? Oh, I need to go back and talk to the lady. 48 years old. Wow. I didn't know Burselli was immortal. <laughs> Everyone knows you don't live past 25. <laughs> <laughs> End of the line. Oh. Why would they let- why would they put that in the game? Why would they do that? You know what this game needs? A toilet I can flush. Thank you. I'm just here to move all that. Oh no. Oh my god. Also, like, the Twitch leaks that happened today? That was spicy. I woke up early and I checked my email as, like, I don't, why is that my weird habit? Like, I wake up and I'm like, ooh, gotta check my email. Gossy five emails. Check my email and I had a, a Twitter message from Rain. Ooh. Hello. Um, and it was about the Twitch the leak thing. Scary. Am I gonna get got? Traditional Japanese style doll. What did he say? Let me die? Why didn't the subtitles show up? I ask for one thing and it's subtitles all of the time, please. But yeah, um... I don't think any of my information- uh, maybe my information was included with the leak, I don't know. But I thought it was like the top 100,000 grossing streamers, which I don't think I am. I don't- I don't think I'm up there. Look at that little head. So spooky. If I get married, I really want to wear black or green, just cute. Yeah, I want to wear- I don't know what color. Like, white would be fine. But I'd love to wear a vintage dress. I'd love to wear a dress, you know, somebody else- war at some point um i do want to dress up i am i am all about the like dressing up life i have a friend who has a mother-in-law like that she screamed at her for taking her baby boy away oh girl, no no could not could not i don't care how much i love someone i don't want to deal with a parent like that i don't want it unless the person was like help me get away from this parent then i'd be like bet but so, oh, that's too much. It's too much. Hear me out. Seeing the Japanese toilet has me brainstorming a new toilet already. Okay, we got it. What if there was a toilet that had a basketball above <laughs> it so you do know in your <laughs> Purcelli, gross. No. <laughs> Rain, have a good lurk. Have a good DVD. I found out local, oh, via local Pokemon Go group. That's awesome that they were like super on top of that. Phone number member one. 
Okay, I guess we can go there. I guess that's the plan. I don't know if there's anything else here for us to look at. So I think we gotta follow the phone. I guess we'll never figure out what the hand under the uh, table was grabbing. Item or file? I never remember. I guess it's file. Oh, come on. I wore a cream colored ball ground with black lace. Am I winning? <gasps> Beautiful. Oh, that sounds lovely. I like the contrast. I think that's fun. Okay, let's let me let me jot down this phone number 997-618-252. And we'll give them a call. We'll say hello. I forgot the little jump scares happen. It's so scary. Game is so silly. <laughs> <laughs> nine nine seven six one. Yep, yeah, that's my real phone number. Give me a call anytime. Hello, <laughs> milady. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to wear something vintage. I think with sleeves. Ooh. Are we teleporting? I think so. Yeah, we are. I was like, did I type it wrong? I'm sorry, Priscilla. I'm kind of in the middle of something right now. You should call me back when I'm not streaming. Oh, we're in a hospital. Hospitals are like ultimate scary. Why? <laughs> I did not want to come here. It's so convenient that there's always a phone wherever we go. It was a corpse bride meets Sweeney Todd style Victorian Gothic. That's really fun. I don't know what sort of theme I'd want. I guess it would be something to depend on who I was marrying. Oh, it sounds like there's some white noise happening. Oh, I might need to scoot back again. Let me scoot my uh, microphone as well. Is there... Because last time, oh yeah, I was going to say, last time it showed me a little icon if there was something I could record. Which, thankfully. Spooky sounds from the way remote. Hello? Soft times hacker man. What? HLGF with the stream and game? What? <laughs> Oh, oh my god. IV lines. Oh, IVs. What? Sorry, we can't do work on you. We need to take a picture. Oh. I don't like... I don't like it. That sounds scary. My mom works at an asylum, and on the outside it looks like how they actually look in the movies. Really? Occasionally film crews even come out to work at film shots for horror movies? That's wild! In my husband's side, it kind of... Hi, Keish! How you doing? Kind of unnerved one of my sisters-in-law. Oh, there's a sound. They're like, that's who she is, and they love the piano music. Oh, cute! Hey, Keish, how are you? Happy Wednesday. <laughs> It is the Wednesday, my dudes. She's seen it all. Yeah. I can imagine. That'd be a scary place to work. Maybe it'd be fine. Maybe, I, you know, maybe, like, movies have made it seem scarier. How would I, I'm doing good. I had an off day yesterday, but I'm feeling very on top of things today. And I'm really enjoying this game, even though I'm, like, it's hard. I'm, like, afraid that I'm not doing a good job, but I think I'm doing fine. Obtained patient charm. Name, illegible. <laughs> Dislocated ninth and 10th ribs, secured with a wrap and monitoring progress, broken left shin, insert rod, ah, after something has gone down, CT scans show, no anomalies, evidence of blunt trauma. My left shin? My left shin? Me? 
Is this a me thing? It's a stretcher used for moving patients. My late grandmother used to work at a morgue. Oh, I, I like, when I was in college, got really into um, the concept of, like, green death. And I, like, strongly considered becoming a mortician once I was out of college. And I wanted to, like, work in green death and, like, human composting and stuff. But I'm kind of a, a baby, so I don't actually think... I would handle it super well because I cry really easily and I feel like if I ever had to like communicate with someone about their past relative I would be like Ugh. so I don't I don't you know I don't know if the professionalism would <laughs> would carry me through in those situations hello man hospitals are spooky <laughs> I try not- oh, nurses aren't, though. Hello, ma'am. Uh, yeah, hospitals are kind of spooky. I try not to be afraid of them, because it's just like, you know, it's just a place you go. But, um, I definitely am. <laughs> I definitely get, like, really scared. It appears to be a patient chart. The words aren't legible. One night she had a guy sit up when he was said to be dead for Halloween nights. You're just being a pirate. Okay, Keish, the problem is, so I'm going to a Halloween thing this weekend. One of my friends is being a pirate and one of them is being a witch, which are like peak Halloween costumes. So I'm thinking either a ghost or a clown or a cowgirl. That's what I'm going to try and make happen. Drifter's memo seven. Thank goodness I finally found someone else. It seems like this guy has been in this, state, this strange place for some time. I'm sure it's only a matter of time until we escape now. I had a feeling Shin has been the one writing those, and he's, like, definitely not alive anymore. I had a friend in high school who was studying to be a mortician. Oh, fun! Her mom wasn't a big fan. Ah, you know, it's like a like a part of it. Yee-ha! Cowgirl, yes! Yeah, I was, because I, I have the hat, so I just don't have the cowgirl boots, which is, like, major disappointment in my life, right? I don't even know where I could buy, where I could get them, other than, like, online. Automa I know Automod is in it because I have it turned up really high too um, because of the like hate raids from a bit ago. So I should really go through and dial it back a little bit because I don't, I haven't like really needed it. Every high school has a weird goth girl who wanted to be a mortician. I don't, I don't know. Maybe mine did. Maybe I, pr I probably just wasn't friends with them. Maybe. Cause I was, I was, I had a, like a pretty nerdy group of friends, but I don't think any of us were like, we didn't dress very alternatively. We were like kind of boring nerds. Okay. We could go down the stairs. She wasn't even goth. There you go. Maybe goth at heart, you know? <laughs> I was the goth who wanted to be a homicide detective, but I couldn't take crime scenes. Oh my God. I wanted when I was younger. I wanted to be a detective and my my dad and my sister made fun of me for it. They were like, Mary could never, you could never. Or they were like, you're gonna be a murderer because you like wanna learn how crime scenes are investigated. Which like, I get that they were they were joking, but it was like kind of, a, kind of mean. Hmm. I super feel like we should not go in there. <laughs> this is pharmacy. Yeah, I got a feeling that this is not a pharmacy. <laughs> Same, but yeah, Defo needs lasso and such. Yeah, yeah, that'd be so cute. Computer just decided to shut off an update. Oh, I know the Windows 11 update is starting to go out, I think. My computer couldn't get it yet because of um, something weird. There's something weird about my computer where it's like, you can't update yet. So I need to go through and adjust some settings um but i'm hoping everything runs okay until then how much medical fun <laughs> what's in this pharmacy exactly <laughs> i told my dad i wanted to be a firefighter but he told me it was not hot enough and to give up on what <laughs> what really <laughs> Father. Parents are so weird. Parents are so weird. My parents, like, I feel like we're very sure I'd have a restaurant for a really long time. I'd love to have a cafe. 
list of an art office procedures. I don't. I think I wanted to be an animator most of my childhood, and I think my parents kind of thought that I I would end up doing that. And then once I got to high school, I stopped doing as much art stuff. So yeah. It was so weird. Both my parents left each other to date the same sex after. Oh, that's interesting. I, yeah, some people do kind of end up in those relationships, right? Where it's like, this is the norm. So I'm going to be in this because it's the norm. I like the, the photos of the people. Man, are you really going to make me open all of these and not have anything <laughs> be in them? Because, like, that's a bit rude game every time you do that oh and then it's just it's just spooky writing every time right Ooh. someone wrote in this cupboard Ooh. wasn't looking at my screen um no hotness doesn't cloud yeah right like no that's so strange people are weird though right uh, that makes me nervous about if I'd ever want to be a parent. I have to be, like, so in such a good place mentally to even consider having a parent or having a child. Because I feel like if you're not, then you end up saying stuff like that. Like, I don't know. Definitely not trying to <laughs> out. Hmm. You know what? I'm trying to fix. I'm not gonna be able to fix that. I'll just leave it. It's fine. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Mom says I have this weird fascination with death because of the fact I'm super fascinated. Oh, super sensitive to the supernatural. And she's like, you couldn't handle being a detective. So, oh, so I changed my mind to be a criminal psychologist. So one teacher was like, that's not a viable career. You need to be a nurse. Or oh, I hate. I hate that. I hate that. As a parent now, I do try everything equally, but there are some days where I'm like, uh, why are you being such a little turd? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> My son, though, is everything. I don't think I can tell him you're not hot enough. Yeah, I feel like that's that's a weird thing. Like, I remember when I was applying for schools, um... My mom had a really weird attitude about me applying to some Canadian schools, and it wasn't like she straight up was like, no, all you right. Oh. 15 clams. I'm all set. I'm heading off for now as I'm very tired. Have a good stream and happy birthday. Thank you, Keish. Have a good night. Thank you for the bits. Sweet dreams. But yeah, my, my mom had like a weird attitude about me applying to Canadian schools and very much implied that I wouldn't be able to get into them. And now in retrospect, I'm like, I had a really solid GPA and I did a ton of extracurriculars. Like, I would have done just fine. But, like, it's weird. It's weird. I don't even know if she was, like, intentional with that, but... Weird vibes. I say turn because I'm being nice. <laughs> in January, he turns two. And I always already know he's going to turn two. And it's going to be the terrible twos. Oh, no. Oh, my God. We're sorry. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Jump scare. Oh Jesus. Thank you, Bruselli. I wanna oh, I need to I wanna update that too. I wanna add to it. My daughter's gonna be eight on the 18th. <gasps> oh my god. Cute. What are with all these void rooms? Not saying I'm mad. Prime subs are slightly better than normal subs. Oh wow. Uh oh thank you, almighty Bruselli. Thank you, my lady. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Is there anything better than Hasune Miku singing Oh, Jesus? I don't think so. Oh, my God. Another bathroom to investigate. Wow, for me. Thank you. A gift. <laughs> also, Siren, I feel like I knew you had a daughter. But I didn't realize she was eight. Her birthday's on the 18th. Oh, but in the spring. Eight going on 18, the attitude. I get it. I get it. I get it. I misread. Oh, whoa. I guess it is like a hospital bathroom. Man, I don't like it. I really don't vibe with these bathrooms. Let me be upfront with him. I'm not going to lie to him and say, 
Yeah, I, I feel like you can be honest with kids when they're, for the most part, like, being jerks. I, it feels weird to be like, this is fine, you know? I do that with when I worked with kids at the camp, be like, whoa, we got like an attitude happening here. I, I mean, I wouldn't say exactly that, but also, you know, try to figure out why, what the attitude's coming from. Because so often it's just like, they are tired. <laughs> Let them rest. <laughs> Get a little snooze in or a snack, man. The, the grouchies, like, even I, to be fair, I super get grouchy when I need a snack. Ooh. Oh my god. What? What? The snack machine is attacking me? I just wanted some change. I just wanted a snack. Oh my god. That would be so terrifying. I bet that's how a ghost would attack me, too. If I ever actually interacted with a ghost, it'd be like when I'm trying to when I'm trying to get some Doritos or munchies. Munchies are my favorite thing to get from vending machines because I feel like they have a little bit of everything, you know. So I was thinking if there's a market for a new sexual orientation. Oh no! Imagine if there was a word for people who used to be sexual but are now asexual. Should call them bisexuals. <laughs> bi. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm not bi. I'm not sexual anymore. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Okay, I should go to the stairs. Unless I'm supposed to go into the void, but like the void definitely seems like bad vibes. I don't know if I'm ready to explore in a void. One time at camp I was told that I didn't handle my period well by a boomer. Ugh, 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 hate that, hate that. Oh my God. I would, I would throw hands if I was working with that person. Um, can't wait for him to tell me he hates me and I get to reverse into the situation and make it my moment <laughs> as I start crying and drinking and say, no! <laughs> Uno reverse! I hate me more! <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> I don't know if I ever went through like an I hate you phase when I was a teenager with my parents. Because my sister did, like, my sister aggressively did, so I think being the younger sibling, I was like, yeah, I don't hate you, I just, I don't want to, y'all yell a lot, I don't want to. <laughs> oh my god. Why is this game scary? Why is a horror game scary? I have some questions. That ghost, is it calling me over? I don't, I don't think so, actually. I just, like, dramatically knocked my switch over. <laughs> Nobody has to know. <laughs> Nobody needs to know. Can my TikTok live work? No, that's okay. I thankfully can't really use it right now. I was the golden child because my middle school sister ran away from home to stay with her boyfriend in middle school? That's when I pulled the jokes on you. I already hate myself. My daughter was like, Mommy, you're beautiful. Aww. Okay, I think I, she wants me to go there, but what if I go here? Not an option. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, because they're still together to this day. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, they made it work, I guess, you know. I'm, I'm not going to judge. All right, game. I'll go exactly where you're directing me to go. I'll do as you wish. I'll let the nurse... Oh, we got some, we got some Wiimote sounds. Ooh. Made a TikTok for streamers now. Ooh, my TikTok is Mary Love Mew. I think if you type exclamation point TikTok. Yes, I could. Hmm? Should be with that link. Oh, I want to tell you something. I found something fun. Oh, the audio for this one's crunchy. I started playing on the internet. Oh, oh, baby. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Haven't had friends since I've been hospitalized, so it's a really nice feeling. Oh, wait, this is sad. I'm a friend, right?
Oh, older guy being like, aren't I your friend? Creepy vibes. Okay. Yeah, it's important to have friends that are your age. It's a creepy guy. I don't like it. I don't like it. Same counselor that said I need to make friends because books aren't friends. You need real social interaction. That made me slow dance with a boy that bullied me. Why? That's, ugh. That's terrible. Oh, Gabe, did you join my live? You can see how crunchy it's being for me. It doesn't want to pick up my face. <laughs> Phone memo, too. I'm, like, trying to scoot it down. I don't know why it's being, like, so much worse than it usually is. Um, we'll never know. Okay, so I got another phone number. Can't wait for this group to say, you're very mature for your age. I know, it's, I think it's because I'm scooted back a little bit too to make the Wii remote work. Yeah, it's being super jittery. Oh well. Okay, so I have another phone number. Maybe I should just go to it? Look at all this stuff. Man, they make it look like it should actually be a little thing. That I can pick up, but they don't. But they don't let me. I guess I'll just call them. Ooh, I need to. I need to write down these phone numbers. Ooh, how do I get to the menu? <laughs> you know what sounds really good? Waffles. I think I might make waffles for breakfast. Because my sister was popular at camp, and I was the weird antisocial sister. The only reason. <laughs> Aww. That's hard when you have like siblings that are so like different from yourself but the expectation is that you should be the same because i was so different from my sister so it definitely like would feel really weird if anyone expected me to be the same as her because I, I would have like teachers that had her too and be like oh it's another one of this person from this family and i'm like oh, but i'm still an individual <laughs> me and my sister have very different interests just teleport It. Hello. <laughs> Could you imagine watching The Big Bang Theory without the laugh track letting you know in the punchline? <laughs> My parents loved The Big Bang Theory. They were very into it. They are boomers, though, so maybe, you know. What is this place? Obtained a cell phone. Speaking of waffles, oh, I made some crepes the other day. I can't move. Footsteps? Should I hide? Okay, we're gonna get jump scared, I'm sure. I feel like an old person lived here. Magnifying glass, you know? Next to the... the, the thing? Let's save. <laughs> Oh, wait, and now, oh, wait, the other day, and my son wakes me up and passes me the flower to make it again. Oh, Gabe, that's so cute. It got so bad that she took all my books away so I could have proper Weird, weird. Oh, I just saved again. Nothing like saving. Just, just want to be careful. Just want to be safe. Oh, I don't like hearing the footsteps. Kind of off-putting. I feel like at some point the game's gonna make me pick where I'm supposed to go. And I don't... I don't like that. I don't like eventually, like, having to be the one to know <laughs> what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, the colors in this space are... Like, that is a blue carpet. What an interesting design choice. That is a pink chair. I'm not against it. I'm, I'm not upset. I'm just confused. Toaster? Rice cooker. <gasps> nice. I wasn't bothering anyone. I was just reading Edgar Allan Poe. And so, yeah, it's, you're just doing what you enjoy, which is the best way to make friends. Because if people are like, wow, I also enjoy that, then you bond over it, right? I remember I brought a copy of the Tokyo Mew Mew manga with me to summer camp once 
And, like, I had a friend that read it and begged me to borrow it. And she was like, I'll mail it back to you. But I was so protective of it, which I, I kind of laugh at now. But I was, like, so protective of it. And I didn't want to, like, possibly lose it. So I didn't let her. Which I don't like, I probably could have. But that book was my everything. My first manga. Oh. Oh, it's really, like, proper Japanese style. With the separate bath and shower and all that. I'm always kind of jealous of those uh, bathtubs. Okay. And. Door won't open. This side. Oh! Futon? Is this. Just grime or bad thing? Grimes. Ex partner, Elon Musk. I f like forget that they never got married, but it's not like Elon was lacking in uh y ex wives. So what a weird guy. Spooky writing for me? Wow. How do I... <laughs> huh. Water heater. Nice. I brought my mom's copy of a collection of Edgar Allan Poe's. It was a thick book. Thick. I think I've only read the, um... Oh, uh, the one... What have I read by Edgar Allan Poe? There's somebody here. Oh, God. Um, I don't want to go upstairs. The one where they end up burying someone in, like, the floorboard. Where they, like, go to the wine cellar. That's the only one I remember reading for school. Oh, and then The Raven, I think, also. <gasps> for, like, a poetry unit. Batteries. Oh, the batteries died. Oh, so it's dark. What? My we like, like it, it. Oh, is that a a person? I don't know what I'm looking at at all. She disappeared. Okay. Well, I can't see anything, anyways. I'm. Oh, going back down the stairs. Okay. Um. Ja, we're back to can't see well in the darkness. No! Should I try and go back up? I guess I'll... See if I can just, like, click my way through whatever's happening. Oh, this old lady counselor was like, she's not getting proper social skills. Oh no, she got really mad when I made a Friday the thirteenth joke. I mean, I feel I feel I feel like some kids could get scared by that. I me, I would. <laughs> I would be that kid. If I could have my own mythical army, what would it be my ooh? I well like if I like was gonna, you know, be a mythical creature, I'd wanna be a mermaid, I think. Um Hello? Oh, it's so dark. I wonder if I'm supposed to go somewhere else. So I'd want to have, like, like you know, mermaid army. <gasps> oh, someone's portrait fell and shattered. Can't see well in the darkness. Oh, I can't- I just, like, can't do anything until I get a flashlight. Oh, oh, it's a shrine, right? Small light bulb is lit. It's burning incense. If- maybe if I can use the- oh, light the candle. Oh, sure? 
Yeah, let's take it. It feels a bit wrong to take something from someone's shrine, but... Oh, now it's gonna, like, go off, you know, like, a framed picture. Old couple. Ooh! The horror! Aging. My cabin is laughing at the phone except for my sister. Oh. Chino's letter. I'm sorry for burdening you. It's been colder lately, which I'm sure is causing some discomfort for your knee. You don't need to push yourself to come see me. Yesterday, I made a cute friend. She's staying on the floor above me. I met her on the roof when I went to grab some air and we began talking. And now she comes to visit me in my room. I feel like I have a new grandchild. Oh, maybe, maybe the guy is just like an old man. <gasps> I'd like to introduce you to her next time you come. Well, take care of yourself. He is kind of sad. There are lots of photographs. Hmm. Photograph the deceased has fallen and cracked. Well, it feels like really rude to walk over his photo. Pillows? Pillows? Oh, how in Japan they have shrines for those who... Yeah, it's, it's an interesting cultural thing. It's kind of sad that it's not like more of a thing um, in the U.S. for like remembering the people. people. But I guess like we, we have, you know, less, less formal shrines, I suppose, like less formal ways of remembering people. We have photos and other things. Oh, this is where the person we we saw was, but we can't look in. Oh, that's where we were. That's where we were. Okay. And this is downstairs. Should I go? I wonder if I saw everything I was supposed to. Saw some things I wasn't supposed to. I know in Navajo culture, when someone passes, you just kind of let them go. They pass now and you forget them. That's also interesting. I mean, yeah, there's there's something to be said about, like, uh, about letting go and just letting people kind of return to nature, I guess, and you continue on until you pass, and it's just the cycle, I guess. Your loved one pass and cremated people keep yeah keep them in urns true true or spread them most of most of the people i know of who have been cremated we've spread their ashes oh was i is this all here before it's a low height dresser that's kind of that's a really neat design i like uh the idea of like sitting at something like that and doing my makeup Plant. It's a healthy looking plant. Okay, and this is just the bathroom again. Which there's something that's like glowing there. Oh. Oh, I obtained a key. Okay, I forgot that I can crouch. And that's like a game element. That's just a window. Windows and bathrooms. Makes me nervous. Hmm. Okay, we've been in there. And this is where we started. Yeah. Huh. Well, so we saw. Oh, so that's that's the man in the hospital that died. I wonder if I'm supposed to go back to the hospital now. Like, back to that other... Every time it does that, I have a little, like, oh, moment. Yeah, yeah, it's just, nothing suspicious at all. It's fine, it's just a casual breaking and entering in, a, in an alternate universe. Um, it's very normal, very comfortable. I'm fine with it, I don't know. <laughs> no, I would absolutely, like, be freaking out if I had to do something like this. Like, have to investigate someone else's home. For someone who loves mysteries, 
I would be very, very nervous. What's the worst haircut you've ever had? Oh my goodness. I, um, when I was really young, I really didn't know how to style my curly hair. Because my mom's hair wasn't very curly, and my dad always kept his hair short, and I don't think it was very curly either. Um, so my parents just, like, didn't, I didn't know how to deal with uh, my curly hair. So at, I, like, it would just end up getting really, really puffy. Oh. It's not what you're supposed to do when you're, um, like... Try trying to get into contact with the spirits is ring a bell. Also, hi, Alex. Um, but yeah, I once cut my hair like really short. Or I didn't cut it. I got it cut really short. And then it ended up being like super puffy because I would brush out my curls. So it was, it was very bad. Not sure if this is big everywhere, but have you ever started carving a pumpkin yet? I haven't started carving a pumpkin yet. No, I was going to, I went to visit my friend, or went to visit Syphy, and we bought pumpkins to carve, but we, she didn't have a good knife for it, and, um, they don't have, like, the pumpkin carving kits yet, so we weren't able to yet, um, but... I'm excited to, I love carving pumpkins. Actually, the only reason I've ever had to get stitches was because I cut my fingers open pumpkin carving <laughs> to get stitches. It was in fifth grade, I think. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what I'll carve this year. One year I carved the Mirror's Edge logo, <laughs> which is a very gamer girl. Carved a lot of creepers uh, from Minecraft. And I love roasting pumpkin seeds. I love roasting pumpkin seeds. It's so, they're so good. They're such a good snack. I do it if I'm to eat them. Majority of the time, I'm too lazy to put up the seeds and dry them. Yeah, usually my mom, my mom does, and I just like mooch off of her. Usually wait till the week before Halloween, and I paint them. <gasps> Cute. Yeah, my old place at at my parents' house, I never really worried about people taking them. But sometimes, where I used to live for college, people would like you know take pumpkins and smash them and it was kind of sad so i'm just writing out the phone number you should pumpkin call that'd be really cute that would be fun i'd be super down for that i'll ask her Sophie. let's go carve those pumpkins we bought <laughs> or you bought <laughs> she has such a cute house it was so nice visiting her i love carving pumpkins that would be really fun oh but then i would want to think of like something really cool to carve right I could I couldn't have like a lame pumpkin for my stream. It would have to be very cool and gamer of me. I could carve a Wii remote. <laughs> horror. <laughs> Pure horror. Does this not alarm you? <laughs> How far away you live. Yeah, we're not we're not too far. We're... Okay. Oh, can I not? Did I type it wrong? No, I typed it right. Just I can't. Okay. So I'm not done here yet, I guess. Um. Hmm. I was so sure that like I didn't have anything else to find, but I guess I've missed something. I don't have paint this year to paint. Oh no! Give me your address so I can stalk you. Also, I keep shrines. Is this a, like, low-key way of saying you're gonna kill me for something? <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> that's a, fair. You can have yeah, 600 seconds. That's fine. <laughs> for Sally can have a break. <laughs> I, I, yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Okay. I am Quack Merit Award. That's a little weird. That's a little, that's suspicious. That's suspicious. Um. 
Should I have cake tomorrow? I had cake today. That seems it would be a lot of a lot of cake. I have matches. I wonder if I can use the matches. Well, I'm assuming I use the matches to light the candle. Hmm. Hmm. What? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Game. It's so weird. It feels like there's so much like high intensity stuff that will happen. And then there are times like this where it's just so much like wandering and I feel like maybe we just call someone else. I've noticed everywhere and has been playing Outlast for Halloween. That's such a scary game. It's such a scary game. It's so graphic too. Like that's definitely one of those games where it's like I'm not even gonna tell my mom about this because like her impression of video games I feel like is so constantly teetering on the edge of like these are bad. <laughs> As soon as you're watching the original Friday the 13th and <laughs> screaming at the TV. Aw. Is that a bone? What is that? Well, it sounds like I can look at it, apparently, I guess. Ah! Game. I did not know what you want from me. I watched Hocus Pocus last night, though! It was really good! It was really good! It was fun. And so- it's so- it's so funny watching those movies that, like... I feel like it's aged pretty well, where- when, when they were like, it's 1993, I was like, wow! It's not that old! Or it is that old, but it doesn't feel like it's that old. Girl, don't follow the spooky sense. <laughs> it is, it's so cute. It was cute. I liked it. I love the witches. I love their costumes. I Made. Mean, I want to be one. I want to be one. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's like, it's good. It's good. It does, I mean, aside from the lack of cell phones, like, yeah. Would cell phones actually solve any of that, though? Probably not. <laughs> so. Okay, so I saw the photograph. I can close this. But that doesn't really... Yeah, this is nothing, none of this is really doing anything I want. Huh. I watched Nightmare Before Christmas with my nieces this weekend. Cute. Gotta watch Halloween too. Okay, wait. When do y'all watch Nightmare Before Christmas? Because I was talking to Callie about it last night. And for her family, it's a, um... Oh. Guest room, altar room, hallway. Oh, I can look at the map. Um, all the time. <laughs> Yeah, because her, for her family, it's a Christmas movie, and my family never watched it. Um, but I think I usually watched it around Halloween time in the past. I guess I could call Jen. I could call the hospital. I could go to the... Oh. Them. Yeah, I don't know. Halloween Town. Halloween and Christmas. Oh, yeah, it, it works perfectly for both, I feel like. I was saying, like, it could be, like, the ideal Thanksgiving movie. Because, like, is there really a Thanksgiving movie other than... Like, there's Charlie Brown Thanksgiving, but I don't... I never really watched that. My family was very Charlie Brown Christmas and The Grinch were, like, Chris, Christmas movies. Actually, and, um... There was, like, White Bear's Christmas, which was, like, about a stuffed animal bear. And there's another one called The Snowman. Those were our, like... Christmas movies, and I don't know what we'd watch around Halloween, because we, they weren't like, like, my parents have never watched horror movies. Um. Maybe It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown? I think maybe that would be, like, it. Yeah, just. 
it's weird how little movies my family kind of watched because it feels like a like a normal cultural thing i started making my family watch um the Princess Bride every Christmas because it's like kind of a Christmas movie because there is a Santa in it. Okay, I'm just gonna start calling phone numbers because I don't know what to do right now. Um, and then what was the other one? Uh, the one with the kid, Home Alone, Home Alone. I loved watching Home Alone for Christmas. Okay, don't mind me just like typing these phone numbers in the chat. <laughs> Am I supposed to memorize them? I don't have I don't have the thinking. For us, it was Great Pumpkin, Nightmare, Halloween Town, Hocus Pocus, and Scary Godmother. What's Scary Godmother about? That sounds spooky. Nine nine seven zero eight two one nine six. Okay, I'll go with those ones, and hopefully, one of those is something. Nine nine seven six five seven two eight one. Super cute, but the CG has not. I I kind of love that about some older movies, like seeing some old CG. It's like a little crunchy. My family for movies watch Nightmare Before Christmas all the time. Hocus Pocus, and it's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown, a classic. The Halloween Town movies. And slasher films for Halloween and Christmas we do the Grinch. Polar Express. <gasps> Polar Express was good. A Christmas Carol and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. What's everybody's least favorite holiday movie? Because I watched... What is it? The one... It's a black and white film where, like, the man is, like, ruining his life. And then he, like, goes to an alternate universe that he didn't exist. And then he, like, comes back to the present day and is like, I was a fool. That one really upset me, I remember. I watched it with my mom and she got so annoyed with me and the fact that I like was such a hater on the movie. <laughs> I don't remember what that one is. Okay. Wait, one, eight, six, six, two. Contact. Contact? I'm afraid when it shows... Oh, you can't see it because I'm covering. It shows a little ringing icon, and I'm afraid when that happens that I'm not doing the right thing. Because I'm not teleporting. Meh? And the game hasn't done the thing where it, like, cheekily sends me a picture... To like let me know what I'm supposed to do. Which I loved. I thought that was great. It's about a little girl named Sarah whose mean older brother and his friends made her go to the scary house in the neighborhood. And while she was scared. And her scary godmother arrives to take her to the house. And she meets a wet. A werewolf. A great. A gay skeleton, a monster with a bunch of eyes, and they invite a vampire over to have a party. Oh, do I have to dial plus one then the number? I hope not. I don't think I had to do that before. And then the game's like, let me be spooky and like flash images before you. No, no worries for the typing. I got there. I was like a wet wolf. <laughs> that, that could be true. <laughs> um... I don't have any messages. And I can just make the phone vibrate. We can take a picture. That doesn't do anything for me. I'm so confused. Am I missing something very obvious? Am I missing something not that obvious? Look at this photograph. Okay, wait, I picked up, I picked up something. I picked up something. I wonder if I had a phone number on it. Look at this graph. Every time I do, it makes me laugh. Uh, 
The numbers are nine digits long. Yeah. Is it in the items? <gasps> my mom ordered me the cheese I wanted. I forgot I asked for it. Oh my God, y'all, for my birthday. <laughs> I asked my mom to get me a wheel of this cheese I really like, and she ordered it. Welcome back, Vercelli. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Every Christmas at my parents' house, we have a Polar Express Christmas Eve. That's so cute. Sent a screenshot of the graphics to the IRL. Oh my god, wait. Let me see. Let me see. Oh my god. It's aged so gracefully. It won't let me save the image preview. Let me throw this up. I need to, I need to, I need you all to see. Yeah, it's it's cougar gold, which is cheese made by a Washington University. Is this not good? This is good. Uh, it's cheese made by a, a university in state that has like a really solid agricultural program. It is really good cheese. Like I'm not like a like huge like oh, cheese. Hi, Callie, are you home? Because I've been hearing sounds in the house for a hot second. <laughs> <laughs> Not saying I'm scared. Cougar Gold's a mess. Yeah, we're about to have half a wheel of it. Because, to be fair, I've discovered unless you're sharing it with other people, it's really hard to get through a full wheel of it. They're so good as grilled cheese sandwiches, though. I love that. It's like a beautiful sharp cheddar. You can order it online. They only ship to some states, though. Uh, which makes sense, because it's it's got to be refrigerated. What was I doing? Why am I here? What am I looking at? Okay. I am home. Good. I don't- Grilled cheese are so good. Okay, wait. Gray cell phone. It's a familiar looking cell phone. Number 997-082196. Wooden piece of a puzzle! Wait, I li it literally- I literally got a puzzle piece. Could I have said that faster? Okay, let's find a puzzle. Cougar Gold is going to be reincarnated on my dating app. Okay, oh, okay. We gotta find a puzzle. I know it kind of, kind of has like it's an interesting name, but it's because uh, they're the mascot of the school is the Cougars. Meow. My school's mascot was the Vikings, which like that's fine. I don't know. No, oh, that's fine. I guess. Vikings are okay. They got the whole ocean and stuff going on. That's kind of cool. We spend all day in our PJs baking cookies and drinking hot chocolate and stay up to wait for Santa or until my daughter... Oh my god, Christmas with, with kids is so fun. It is so fun. Just like the excitement. I guess you're wondering, Miska's been in my room. Oh, I didn't think about it, but like, makes sense. He does like hanging out in there. It's because he hates me. He sleeps next to me every night. We're best friends forever. Me and my cat. BFFs for life. Uh, where's this puzzle? <laughs> if I was a puzzle, I feel like I'd be in the living room, right? That's where I do puzzles. Oh my god, my mom got this dreadful puzzle. It's one of those ones where it's like not a square, it's in a weird shape, and then it has like these repeating patterns all over it, so it's so hard to tell where, like what should be used. Oh my god, it was so hard. I only got like, I helped her for like an hour and I only found six pieces. Is it not in here? Okay, not in the living room. There's gotta be somewhere I can use this, right? Okay, I think I'm gonna search through everything again. If I don't find where it should go, I might Google. I might Google. I was trying really hard to not Google, right? But I just don't know. Can I make rice? That sounds really good. No water! But I could flush the toilet at the other place. Can I flush the toilet here? Maybe that's it. Maybe I just haven't flushed the toilet, you know? It's cute because she- Oh, I remember Christmas my nieces stayed over and we all had a big sleepover in the basement on the floor. 
That is so cute. Big Christmas sleepover, man. Those Christmases are the best. Like, uh, I miss, I miss having like big family Christmases. We'd always be the family that would like have to drive out to another family's house though. So it always, like we never really had family Christmas at our house, but so fun, so fun. It's cute because she tries to fight sleep watching the fireplace nodding off from the excitement. Ah. It's so adorable. I don't, so I have a, I have a secret TikTok right now. Very secret. It's for a, like, a little project I'm trying. It's not, it's literally not a big deal. Um, but I, I'm, I'm very much on, like, I don't want to say normie TikTok, but, like, not my usual TikTok spit. Like, I'm not on, uh, not on this TikTok anymore, if you know what I'm saying. Um, and it, like... I've, I've come across a weird number of accounts that are just, like, dedicated for to counting down to Christmas. <laughs> it's, like, it's interest. it's, like, an interesting culture. You lost me. Not, not LGBT TikTok. <laughs> very, very, very much a straight, a straight TikTok. Um... Also cleaning TikTok. It's really, I really honed it to just show me cleaning stuff, which like, I love. I love watching cleaning TikToks. I'm really not finding. I don't know, think of TikTok. Yeah, it, uh, TikTok really like, the algorithm is really solid. So it, as soon as like you start liking stuff on there, it's gonna start figuring out who you are as a person and like what content you would enjoy seeing and show you more of that. So, oh, okay, more spooky writing. Um, so yeah, pretty easy, like, it, it starts to key in on who you are as a person, basically. Nothing wrong with that. I follow travel to thought was places to be at Christmas. Oh, that's cute. A little Christmas holiday. Yeah, it's like, it's interesting, interesting vibes, kind of being on like a complete other end of the platform. Christmas culture is insane. Have you seen the Hallmark ladies? I, I, ha I like, I don't know. Yeah. I do not keep up with the Hallmark movies. I don't think I've ever seen a Hallmark Christmas movie. Um, the woman seems familiar. Oh my God. You know what, Callie? You know, you know what? You know what? You know, you know, you know, you know, I would like a Taco Bell. I would like a... I think I would like a... Mm. Oh, God, it's gonna be so hard for me to think of what I want. Wait, do I have leftovers I need to eat? No, because I ate them for lunch. Mm. Something with beans. I was gonna say if there's anything new, but the newest thing isn't really, like, a thing I could put beans on. A crunch wrap. Not a crunch wrap with beans. I don't like those. Whatever whatever you usually get with the potatoes. That's what I want. And a quesadilla. Cheese quesadilla. We'll just go. We'll go for it. We'll do a double whammy. Hello? Why did you die? Why did you die? It's so sad. Oh my god, I can't believe the problem was I just didn't look at the picture. Oh, it's been so long in this house. Wow. Hi. Hey. Hey, what's up, girly? Hey, hi. Hey, hi, hello. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. That's real close. Are we gonna die now? sad it's just a lonely ghost you've seen every hallmark christmas movie gabe you okay wait what's what's the best one what is what is the peak quality hallmark christmas movie oh now i'm st oh, i'm here again mom i'm here 
It's spooky good. You don't even have to like and share videos. Yeah, it just, it looks at like how long you're watching stuff and it's like, this is what they like. This is what they like. It would be kind of nice if they did implement that everywhere, but also it's kind of terrifying, right? <laughs> that it can like figure, he's, figure you out so quick. She heard that one really clearly. Yeah, it's weird. I, I don't, I guess it's on purpose. I have a top five. I will gladly take the top five. I'd really like to go. I feel like, you know, I got my spooky stuff going on. And I've watched movies I've never watched before this year for Halloween. So I feel like I should keep up with that for Christmas. I feel like I should I should just be very spirited. Oh my god, no. What am I supposed to do? Go up. Okay. I didn't like the crawling. I didn't like it. I think that Hallmark Christmas movies have the same people. I mean, you know, you know, sharing is caring. Um. Oh, is this closed again? I would love a quesadilla, yeah. I hope that old lady is okay. So the lady in that picture is the lady that was in the house. Um, now do I need a call and go back to the hospital? Spirit. Angel wings guide me and Hikaru. Everybody's watching homework is to watch Angelic Lair. Any protein, just cheese. Oh, good, a quesadilla and I want the the thing that you usually get, but with potatoes, which I guess also isn't technically protein, but like, cheese has protein. I had a lot of lentils for lunch, so I'm like protein done. <laughs> what kind of grudge crap is that? <laughs> yeah, crawly ghosts, not invited. I only want ghosts that uh, stand on their own two ghost legs, feet. Someone really like, huh, kind of, back where I was. Already seen it three times, just watched it again. With my nieces this spring. What? Wait, what movie were you talking about? Also, hi Patrick, welcome in. Welcome into Wii Gaming. Wow. One of them even painted, oh, Angelic Lair! <gasps> cute! One of them even painted a pop for me that says Angel Wings. Oh my God, that's so cute, Patrick. How could I? How could I emulate greatness, though? I don't think I I can't. You have it on Blu-ray? <gasps> I'm kind of jealous. I want it on Blu-ray. That's such a good show. I'm going to save again. We gaming. I know. We're we're in the future. Isn't it fun that I'm in the retro gaming channel? Just get a bunch of combos. True. Combos in a Hawaiian shirt. Put my, put my hair kind of pushed back. I got it. Magic the Gathering. I still have a deck somewhere. <laughs> At least you didn't get Blair Witch. True. True. You know, we gotta appreciate what we do have in the moment, which is I am alive. Is it now that I need to call the hospital? But I, I just still have this puzzle piece that, like, I feel like I need to do something with. Um, I'll check this room one more time. It won't open. This one will do. <gasps> oh, a man. Not anymore. <laughs> what? <laughs> you ever just turn into a puzzle box? Wow. It's almost as though the game knew that I had a puzzle piece. Are we, am I playing a Nancy Drew game tonight? Is that the vibe? Little do they know. Um. Oh God, wait. Someone's standing in the corner of the room. Wait, someone was standing in the corner of the room? 
Can't remember the name of any Hallmark movies. Oh no! There's too many. It's okay. I also understand that, like, frankly, how could I ask you to pick greatness, right? Oh god. Where? How did I mess this up? How did I done goof it up? This they these need to go up. I threw my DVR and you have 60 plus? Oh my god. It's so many. The right amount. The correct amount. <laughs> oh no, it's like, okay, perfect. Um, this needs to go there, and then we're good. Huh, yeah, just scoop everything around a little bit. You know, really, Nancy Drew has has prepared me for this moment. I'm not unprepared. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you, Nancy. It's not a puzzle game without a slide puzzle. Kyoko's letter one. Dear Miss Chio... Kishibi, Kishibi, I just wanted to send you a letter. Time flies, doesn't it? It has been hot lately, but I hope you're faring well. Perhaps you would like to come to the hospital for an exam. exam. Oh, if this does not appeal to you, please feel free to contact me personally. Here is my contact information. <gasps> we, got a, we got a phone number. We got a phone number. We got to ring the bell. 997-116-286. We got a phone number. Oh, no, I'm saying in general, like, Blair Witch, someone's standing motionless in the corner of the room. I can see how that's spooky, but it's like a cliche. I see. I see. Kyoko Hibino. Is that? I think it's the, the person? Can't remember the name, but the story goes she's a writer who goes to a writer's convention and her favorite artist. Ooh, is us the fair. Okay. The wandering completed. Oh, we finished a chapter. In her group, she's partnered with a guy who is unconventional and she doesn't like him, but find out. Oh, he's her favorite artist. Also, her ex who broke up with her before the convention is there and picking on her. Gross. Gross. We hate rude exes. Blah. Blah. Also, I've had. Uh, gamer fuel this entire time, but I felt so energetic <laughs> at the start of the stream. I was like, I don't even know if I need that. Okay. For a while, I just spent time remembering, oh, reminiscing about my life. I didn't know what to do with this hole that had opened in my heart. Open your heart, follow your heart, your heart. It made me appreciate Take's kindness all the more. Aww. When you live this long, life gives you some nice moments. Am I the old lady? Am I gonna be the old lady? When I first met my husband, I would wait for days until his letters would arrive in my mailbox. It would have been so convenient to have all this technology back those days. A few days ago, I heard a rumor. There is a place where you can meet the deceased, so she went online to the bad website to try and talk to her husband. Even with dealing with the news of technology, oh, newest of technologies, old superstitions survive. But it can't hurt to look, right? It can, because then you end up in an alternate universe. <sighs> I can't remember the name of the movie, but it's about the soon-to-be vet working at a pet store and a firefighter dating a snob pet store owner's daughter. It was cheesy and romantic. And now the guy who plays Ulrich from Vampire Diaries. Do I, I, do I remember him? Gio. Is she me? So are we the old lady? I wish for Christmas the night before Christmas. Oh, is the night before Christmas like, like night? Or is that... Remember when old couples and their spouse and yeah, it's so sad. I've seen that person, but where? Okay, so we are the old lady. I feel rude calling her that. Well, these doors open dramatic or close dramatically. At like the night. Oh my god! The night is about a night. It's got Vanessa. Oh, I want to watch that. A Christmas movie about a night with Vanessa Hudgens. 
that sounds like a great time. Honestly, <laughs> sign me up. <laughs> I want, I could be a princess. I could be a princess for Halloween. I have a crown. Oh my God. Ooh. Oh, we're in the woods. Look at this fog. Is this fog? Blee, welcome in. <laughs> How you doing, friend? I forgot I changed my alert to that sound. The old lady, you don't follow handsome man. I mean, I don't know. Following handsome man into the light maybe is a good idea. I've seen some movie. I don't. Honestly, I can't think if I've actually seen her movies. I think I like her. I don't think I have a reason to dislike her. Christmas at the Plaza is good too. Is it like? Christmas at a fancy hotel? Is that the, the plaza part of the hotel? You ever just uh, wander in the woods? Christmas in Rome? You know what? I'd like to spend Christmas in Rome. Somebody said me to Rome. I almost spent a Christmas in England, but I did not. It's the plaza. Is that her husband? That's my guess. That's my guess. Except I think her husband, I thought her husband was like the guy that made all the dolls. So I don't know like, you know, how he was doing. Ooh, it's so bright. Was I supposed to look at other stuff? Cause I really just walked straight. <laughs> oh, hospital? Okay. You know, I think the motion controls are working better this time. A child? What? That child? A child. It's so foggy for her. Oh, it's not gonna let me. Does this just really block? Oh no, it doesn't block my path. It just looks spooky. Will the ghost hand get me this time? Nope. Okay. Okay. It's so like, I guess the different people perceive this experience differently because this is like pretty different than how it looked before. Reminds me of my friend in Japan who had to make a really difficult decision to put her grandfather into assisted living complex because of Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is so, so hard. A taco and a burrito get in a fight, who wins? To be honest, like tacos are delicious. I think I prefer burritos. I think it's a little easier to eat burritos, you know, because it's kind of like all held together in the delicious tortilla wrapping. So I think I'm on team burrito. And now I have that this is the best burrito I've ever eaten song playing in my head. This is the best burrito I've ever eaten. Yum, yum, yum. I think I'm team burrito. Okay, I know I should probably still be following him too, but there, you know, it's part of my brain that's... Maybe I don't need to explore every room. I feel like I've spent a lot of time exploring every room. Maybe I don't need to. I am a big fan of foods where like, you can eat the entire, like, entirety of it, like, all at once kind of. I love burritos, I love sandwiches. She can't run. I know, I do I do want to find all the secrets, Anima. Do you think we can go in the pharmacy now? The void pharmacy? That was this room, right? Let's see if it's still a void. What are you avoiding? Oh, it's shut tight. I am the ultimate detective. <laughs> Tears streaming down my face. I have to look. <laughs> they went to Hiroshima. And he freaked out like it was wartime and she was powerless to stop him. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's really hard. Alzheimer's is very scary. It's wild how, like, how just affected your brain can be. Oh, that's... Is that the girl we've been playing as? An illusion. 
Lunchtime, doubly so. Time is an illusion. Lunchtime, doubly so. Hi, Zoomer! Welcome! Oh my god, welcome in! With a cat jump scare. <laughs> How are you doing? How are things going? Has school started up for you? Also, anybody else? Anybody else in classes or doing any school stuff right now? Because, like, t I guess it's, like, school season. Tis the season. I can't run. Where'd the cat go? Up or down? Down? Cat got all it does. All the better to balance with? School season. <laughs> I hate it. Yeah, it's, uh, fair enough. But I'm not enjoying it at all. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I hope that you're just, like, getting through the classes or the stuff that you need to get through right now so you can, you know do stuff you enjoy more in the future. I'm in school now. I've been super busy with homework and swimming and band. Oh, I can imagine. I hope you have time to relax and like crochet and spend time with friends and all that. Enjoy your youth. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's cut It's cut off on the side so I can't even see who played it. <laughs> Kelly, <laughs> thank you. Here, let, me, let me scoot that over. Oh my god. I don't know why it's so far over there. This, oh my god. <laughs> I really thought that was in the game! She called me a couple days ago crying because she's helpless to get him treated. He called her by her like grandmother's name. Oh, I'm sorry, Siren. That's so hard. Take care of... Take all my... Oh, general ones because it's been 10 years since you took them. Oh, I got a promotion, but I need a secondary education degree. And I'm like, oh, this is not fun. Oh... That's hard. That sucks to have to go over stuff that you've kind of already done. And like going back into school if it's been a while definitely is hard. So excited because Marching Band is having their first Halloween parade and we get to wear costumes. <gasps> Zoomer, that's so fun. What are you going to dress as? Oh, is that Michio? Is that Michio? Oh, she's got an old lady voice. And the child. Friends? Friends or foes? Friends or foes? If I could give a hug, I would, but I don't know how to help. Yeah, that's hard. Sometimes all you can do is be a listening ear, right? I can't. Oh, there's nothing I can do, so they're just talking. Also, 30 with a bunch of 18 year olds. That also is can definitely be less fun. I get that. I've once been that 18 year old. Haven't been the 30-year-old yet, but, you know, I'll get there. Give me five years. And one day. <laughs> Percussion is doing a theme of music artists and I'm going as a drummer from a band that I'm like, oh, fun, yes, and reference photos. Also, anyone is very welcome to send costume photos if you do dress up at any point. Um, everyone is like, OMG, when did you graduate? And everyone thinks I have in 2018, but I'm like, nope, back in 2010, oh! When did I graduate? Oh, the cat again? Oh, you go that way? It's my favorite fairy tale. Good question, Gabe. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Um. I keep thinking of just Disney movies, which I guess isn't really like a fairy tale, right? Is this where I'm supposed to be? Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe it was room 204, because that was the room. Only two hours away in my time zone. <gasps> My birthday? Oh my god. I guess we we could. Like, hypothetically, I could stream all night till my birthday, except I want to get a video done for tomorrow. <laughs> so I want it. After I stream tonight, I'm going to work on editing it. Done the pieces yet. Summer coming on Friday. Ooh! <gasps> Exciting. Exciting. Your dad is like, sweetheart, you're 24, taking care of your ailing grandfather. You need to live your life. Oh. I can't think of, like, favorite fairy tale as the Nutcracker or Wizard of... Oh, I love the Nutcracker! Swan Lake. Swan Lake's one of my favorites. Um, also the music, like, Tchaikovsky. 
really, you know, was it that's Tchaikovsky, right? He really just like went for it. I will make the video for you. Thank you, Bruce. I already filmed it, so you just need to edit it all together. It's actually kind of a lot to edit together. I've made my videos more complicated than I need to. <laughs> Whoops, I accidentally have done too much. <laughs> oh, Tchaikovsky did... Oh, I think he did Swan Lake, because he did the, um... The Nutcracker. I know it's about death and horror. Yeah, you know, I was a, I was an edgy kid. <laughs> it's just, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It really is classic ballet. Well, he's ghosties. What is this, phasmophobia? Is it this one? Hospital bed is stored inside. Okay. I mean, yeah, so many of the, you know, those old fairy tales are supposed to be like, you know, learn from this, right, vibes, but really terrible things often happen to the characters in them. Where'd the cat go? What cartoon character anime did I idolize? Ooh, I loved Scooby-Doo. Um, I really liked Yu-Gi-Oh. I had like a crush on Yu-Gi, which feels weird now. Weird taste, Mary. Um, but yeah, loved Yu-Gi-Oh. Like Winx Club, I really loved Winx Club. I wanted to be like a Winx. And Tokyo Mew Mew also, that aired. Like, Mew Mew Power was airing when I was in, I think, fourth grade. So I got really into that then. Sailor Moon Usagi! Ah, oh, cute! Yeah, I used to I used to check out the uh, Sailor Moon tapes from our library. I loved them. I liked Sailor Mercury. She was my favorite. Card captures! I also loved card captures! Sakura. A lot of those, like, older animes definitely are close to my heart. I haven't watched Sailor Moon in so long, though. I remember I tried watching uh, Crystal when it came out, but I never got into it. It wasn't quite my thing. Um, let's go upstairs. I was going to say excuse me for scratching my eye, I guess. <laughs> it's not like a sound thing necessarily. Are we a Jedi Master, a wizard from Harry Potter, or a Pokemon Master? Okay, so I don't like J.K. Rowling. You know, I'm going to throw that out there. Um, you know, living in a world without the stuff that she's said post-publishing the books. Like, and there's obviously flaws with the books as well. Um, I, like, I wanted to go to Hogwarts so bad. The first time I read the Harry Potter books, it was, it was like, a bit after they came out because I, I like, had never got into reading them. My, like, heart ached for the fact that I couldn't go to Hogwarts. And I think I was in, like, middle school by then. But, like, I, wa I like the concept of going to a magical boarding school. Loved that. Loved that. So I think out of the three, I'd want to be probably Harry Potter. Because I also, I wasn't really into Star Wars growing up. Or, um... Pokemon I wasn't super into growing up either. Like, I played some of the games, but I wasn't, like, hardcore into it. Wait, so I'm playing as the old lady, I thought. So is she seeing herself right now? Mm. It's super I'll see the photo. <gasps> Zoomer, they look cool. They look edgy. Emerson. I like that name. Emerson's a good name. I wanted to be Dobby so bad. But when I found out he died, I cried for a week. I oh can't believe I'm seeing you again, Michio. You really can't can meet the dead in this place. Aww. Um Going to go on and say it, I can't persuade Harry Potter movies because of the racism. Yeah, that's that's very fair. That's very fair. There, there are definitely a lot of issues with that series um, that I, like, definitely didn't recognize as a young person um, that I can, like, see now. And there, there's, like, a lot better media that at this point it's not like I would be like, I really want to go to Hogwarts, but as a kid, absolutely. 
Sounds like a dream. Going to a magical boarding school with cute English boys. In my right, right. Just got a red striped shirt and black suspenders, and I'm gonna wear leggings. Ah, that's so cute. I do. I love. I love me a striped shirt. I'm. A, I'm a striped shirt fan. There are two computers. We hacking in. We about to do some gaming. There are two computers. Ma'am, I'm not gonna judge your counting here, but I guess we're not hacking in. That's okay. The chair fell. Rosalie, what are you gonna be for Halloween? Let's get the full course. Yeah, send it. I'm gonna. I think tonight, maybe um, in between working on video edits, I'll try on some different costumes and stuff, and I'll get y'all's opinion for what I should wear for the Halloween. I had some event I'm going to. I haven't even looked it up. I should probably look it up and figure out what the vibe of what I'm doing is. <laughs> not doing anything for Halloween. Oh, not having a. A oh, rump roaring good time. Just be sad I squandered another year from Priscilla. <laughs> I mean, Harry Potter world is the closest we're going to get to being in Harry Potter. True, true. Which they are like quite impressive theme parks. Oh, that's a phone ringing. Here, I'm going to save. I seriously thought that was in real life for a second. I was like, is there, is my phone going off? I'm so sleepy, but I have so much to do before bed. I have to be at the airport at six. Oh my God, Jackie. Oh no. Do you have an energy drink? Would that help you? Can I like mentally send you caffeine via brain waves? That's the worst. I'm so, I've been so bad about that with like every time I travel lately, I've put off getting ready for so long and then I have to get it all done and I'm like exhausted. Ooh. Don't come here. Even if you do, he's not here. Not you. You're too special. The old lady? Also, Jackie, are you going somewhere? Or are you picking someone up? Was that Reiko's voice? So someone's telling us not to go somewhere. Drink my last caffeine at lunch. No. No. <laughs> can you can you obtain? You're going to New York City. Oh, that's so exciting. That's fun. Have a good time. Is it a, is it a fun vacation time? I hope I hope so. Next time I'm going to buy a Hufflepuff robe, make it look like the school. She's what bender. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. I already saved. I, I don't need to save again. Um, I used to always think I'd be a waterbender. Now I think I might be an airbender. That's why I can't make it. Yeah, that makes complete sense. Have a very fun time. I'm not at all offended also. <laughs> oh, <gasps> wow. Wow, a delivery. Thank you. Hey, I got to talk about <laughs> Tell me there's a taco in this bell? NYC, what is it about you? You're big, you're loud, you're tough, NYC. <laughs> ah. Mm. My jaw popped. Mmm. <laughs> Gabe, I'm a Libra. Which is... I think air? You think I'm an air sign? Fire sign, I can feel it. Spicy siren. <laughs> Why is she gasping? You're gonna see waitress and wicked. <gasps> Wait, you're gonna get to see waitress? You you love you love the have you love the <laughs> Visit the Met and MoMA! <gasps> That's gonna be such a such a good trip. I wonder how far this goes. That's gonna be so fun. Oh my goodness. Ah. Uh, only feel comfortable with it because I have to show my vaccine card ever. Good air. Okay, I am. Yeah, Callie's Earth. Are we, are we like opposites then? 
You gotta see Wicked with the original cast. Gabe, that's so cool. I don't think I've seen anything on Broadway. You have to guess which far sign. Aries. Right? I'm pretty sure you're an Aries. Um. Oh, I saw... Uh... Mary Poppins? At some point I saw Book of Mormon, but I think that that was in Seattle. No! I don't know where that was. But Book of Mormon was really fun. Wait, yeah, what's everybody's, like, favorite... Favorite, uh, musical, if you've, if you've been to a musical or, like, play. I am excited for the point where I can, like, see live productions again. No? Siren, what are you? Are you a Sagittarius? Is that a fire sign? <gasps> Wait, is Aries an air sign? No, it's not. It's fire. Parents saw the original Broadway cast of Cats? <gasps> I want to see Cats. It sounds like an experience. Maybe not a fun one, but an experience. <laughs> what happened? Are we still in, like, the alt-universe? A thing. Multiple things. A phone! Sagittarius! Okay. Just took me two guesses. Just two. Old photograph. Is that them as a kid? I remember such fond memories. Multiple Sagittariuses? The phone. Is it... Oh, it's dialing? Anima's the Aries. I should know that. This is cute. Why the horror game gotta be all touching and sweet? Why? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of fire energy in one chat. Gabe, what's your sign? What's your, what did you say? Wow, four hours in. So we have, I think we're like halfway done. Burn it all out. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sweet. Burn it. <laughs> Arson. <laughs> Excuse my Taco Bell. Wow, my phone is charging, actually. Good for it. Good for you. How far? Oh, this is two hours. I'm feeling good still. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling awake, alive, alert. See, I think we can enter through here. <gasps> hey, are we really going inside? Isn't this trespassing? A crime on my watch? Are you scared or something? Yes, I do not trespass. If there's a crime I don't commit, it's going on other people's property. Whatever, don't blame me if you get hurt. We're just going to take a quick photo. This old building has great atmosphere. Ooh, fire is nice though. My husband is an earth sign. I feel like fire and earth balance well. It reminds me of a cringy warm up song we had to do in chorus with fire. This is the place, right? From five years ago? Yeah. The place where all the patients and hospital staff started dying one after the what? what? They never figured out the cause of death. Supposedly an outbreak. 
Of course. Are you serious? Are you serious? The lamination. We laminating paper tonight, boys? If there's anything I love, it's laminating things. Get me a job with a laminator. I will thrive. <laughs> We co uh, complained of the teacher. We didn't like lying to him. We were not alive alert. Oh, alive awake alert, enthusiastic, and on time. <laughs> I used to say that all the time. <laughs> oh no. My choir teacher used to make us talk in an over exaggerated southern drawl. Oh. Laminating a person in the modern movie. <laughs> uh, so, change of plans. Instead of composting me when I die, laminate me. Oh my god, that would look so bad. I want it. I want that. Kyoko Hibin Hibina. That sounds familiar. Were all of us at the hospital? Are all of us dead? Is that gonna be the twist? Did I call the twist? I bet all of us are actually dead. We all just died at the hospital. Also, I'm sad that I'm at this place again. <laughs> um wait, we got a phone number, didn't we? I thought we got a phone number. Okay, yeah, we got a phone number. The minute you put you up in the classroom truck. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. That's all I've needed and wanted in life. And needed and wanted. And, um, please, mommy, sorry, mommy, sorry. <laughs> I don't know if I called this number yet or not. I think I sh I think I will right now, just in case. I don't know if I'm supposed to yet. Nine nine seven. Didn't we call this at the end of the last chapter, or did we just like auto teleport because we were playing as a different person? So I'm never sure. You know, cute over dramatic soap opera piano. Dun dun dun. Does it look like we're teleporting? It's fading, right? It's we're te we're, tele we're teleporting. Okay, it's good. Hospital? School? Hospital. The candle. Oh yeah, our battery died. Wow, everybody, it's time to not being able to look at anything because we don't have a light source. My favorite part of the game. <laughs> um, computer. Let me in. Oh. Phone ring. Teleporting looks exactly like napping. What? I mean, this could all just be like a series of dreams, right? So like, what if I'm like, I'm teleporting, but I'm just like falling asleep and dreaming. I've been having the weirdest dreams lately. I swear it's gotta be the melatonin though. Hello? I wanted to help. Oh. I wanted to help. friend. I just want to help. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm in, I'm in like the scared mode, right? Where I like can't move. Hive mind type. Oh, yeah. Let's just trade brains. Um, Y'all can have my brain. I'm actually, like, doing really good in this moment. So I feel like this brain is kind of a hot commodity. It's, it's kind of a quality product right now. <laughs> like, it's a bit anxious, but, like, it's, pre it's pretty good. Oh, it's so much darker. Pharmacy? Excuse me, guys. Hey, I'm trying to get my bearings. 
Sorry, I like just woke up here. Can you give me a second? Um, you know, can't see well in the dark. It just hit me. I'm surprised you remember that, like Sarah Ross. Yeah, I know. I got no. That's any anytime I like see Sarah Ross or like waitress, I go like Jackie loves her. <laughs> My brain loves latching onto those details. <laughs> Braid is broken. We can trade. You can have mine for a bit. But then I, I would like it back because, like, I, 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 we're getting hefty up in here. We're doing some, like, weightlifting right now and, like, pretty proud of my progress. <laughs> my brain lifting progress. I just, I strive to have really good memory also. I'm so afraid of having bad memory because I think my, my I love my mom, but she has bad memory. So I don't want that to become me. Hey, go in the hole. Go in the hole. If this was Silent Hill, James would go in the hole. I can't believe she won't just dive in a hole, you know? <laughs> can't relate. I'd always just go down a trash chute. Um, I thought she went this way. I don't want to go in the bathrooms. Baby Anna, hi, welcome in. How you doing, friend? How's it going? Oh, there's another door in here, I forgot. I feel like I am getting the layout of the, the hospital down pretty well. Ooh. A jump scare soon? A jump scare? For me? For me, a little... A book? A diary! Oh, reading someone's diary. <coughs> I went to greet my patient. Her name is Riko Asagiri. She answered all of my questions, but seemed very quiet and withdrawn. It doesn't look like she's getting along with the other children. She's not like the other girls. Maybe- oh, I didn't read it. It's a photograph. Oh, the child with the nurse! Oh no. Oh, I read it too quick and now we're gonna get a cutscene! No! <laughs> that ghost, it was this nurse. This child, a child. Because I, I think our character that we're playing is Rin. But yeah, she's a ghost. Um, I feel like our character was in the hospital with her at the same time. Is that ghost this child? Rico. Asaji Giri? Giri? I also really like the top Rin wears. I think that's very cute. I would like it. I thought about trying to throw together a cosplay for this game, but I did not have the time. Ooh. Oh no, the light went out? Bad vibes? Um... This saw? You can't see well in the dark. Oh, thank God. So she just can't see this toy on a bike. <laughs> what could be keeping her in the world in between the living and the dead? I don't, I don't know. Siren, I hope I hope your brain continues to get stronger, right? Because we we can we can we can continue to become more powerful. Okay, I can open all these drawers, but it's not gonna let me look at anything, so I'm just not gonna mess with them. Well, unless maybe there's a flashlight in one of the drawers. Maybe there's a flashlight. Now I have to look. I hate this game. <laughs> I love this game, but I hate the drawers. <laughs> the scariest form of the way. Could it be anger? Could it be sadness? Find out next week. Find out right now. I'm gonna... We're just gonna beat the game tonight. Man, I wish I just did not have to sleep. <gasps> no! I thought we couldn't see it. Is it gonna kill us? It's really creepy. That's really creepy. That's what I should be for Halloween. It moved. Huh? Oh, it was because of the battery. 
battery's dead. I don't have candles either. If I could find some batteries, maybe I could use the flashlight again. You can't see well in the darkness. What is happening? Why? Is the game trying to be like, open these drawers, there are batteries inside? No. Was it gonna be over where the thing was? No. I'm just, I'm really afraid I'm gonna like misclick something, right? Would you imagine a soap opera game? Uh, Siren, were you here? We just played one. We just played Nancy Drew. What is it called? Stay tuned for danger. <laughs> for some reason, that game, I can never remember the name of it. I've, ha I've like typed it out multiple times and I've had to Google it every time because I'm always like, what game is that? What game did I just struggle my way through? Huh. Um... I'm gonna have to just wander everywhere. I I just I love a meander. I love an aimless stroll through a hospital. It's feeling very <gasps> I can't I can't open the diary. Should I have a diary right now? Like they take a daytime soap and make it. Maybe they have. I wonder if they have. Like, it, like was it like? Uh... Those episode apps. Oh my god! True episode. <gasps> episode is the modern day soap opera. That's galaxy brained. That's literally it. Oh my god! It's like the modern day equivalent. Wow. Like, not to be dramatic. How do you find batteries if you can't see well in the darkness? Callie, that has been this entire game. <laughs> that has been this entire game. Episode stream win. Literally, whenever. I could die. I could, I could, I could episode. That's very on brand for me. <laughs> I've actually never played episode either. So that'd be pretty fun. Does anybody have any good, like, episode, episodes? Are they called episodes? episode story i know i will demand oh yeah oh syphy's at it you should all just like uh message syphy <laughs> like, make pair Mary play episode <laughs> oh yeah if and, and if anybody's not saving up to make me play episode um there is a uh a fund a group fund for playing undertale um if anybody would like to make me play or if you don't want me to play Undertale, I could add in one that's make Mary not play Undertale. <laughs> Episode stream. It's official. It's official. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Do you, do you want to pick which one I play or should I try and find one to play? Also, Jackie, thank you for contributing. If the future doesn't exist, do we really experience it? Huh. That's... Huh. I don't know. Have I ever experienced anything? <laughs> That's a, a bold question. I think I've already been in here. The decision of the- okay, I will- I will do my research. I'll have to get it on my emulator. Ooh, void room? Void? Anybody- anybody feeling- feeling a little void-like tonight? <laughs> So thank you all for contributing. I haven't played it, but I've seen the ads. And someone else I know played one where she was dating a prince, but he cheated, and then she found out she was pregnant. Um, that sounds like a manga I was reading. <laughs> enter void, yes. I elect to enter void. I played it once, but I got bored. I don't play games like that a lot. I um, I played a good amount of like story story based app games, dating app games. Huh. A ghost storm, everybody. What type of spirit is it? Also, thank you all for con contributing and all that. Is 
Mystic Messenger, yes. Oh, Nico, come over here. <laughs> this is the scene we watched, so we're hearing the scene that we just watched. I've heard all about you. I'll 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 add in the voice acting we missed. <laughs> He's teaching me how to use a computer. <laughs> I'm an old man. Is that so? Maybe I should take lessons too. That's the old lady voice. A lot of nuance, a lot of difference. Who's talking? I do love emailing and chatting with my friends who live far away. <laughs> Okay. Go, should we go to the PC lounge? Never finished. I actually don't know if I ever finished Mystic Messenger. I think I for sure got a bad ending. Other games like that on PC are Hakyoki, Hustle Cat, Amnesia, Memories, Cinderella, Phenomenon. <gasps> I will have to perhaps check one out. Is that a coffee machine? It's the most inappropriate time to be fired in public. Oh no, mine was during a wedding when the bride was having the most serious romantic moment about her vows and a small sneeze, but then fart right after. Oh no, Gabe. Oh no, literally biggest fears. Weddings scare me. I like, I just want that to be a perfect day for the bride so bad. I'm like, don't even look at me. Don't even, don't even acknowledge me. I have, okay, I've never heard of amnesia memories. Now I have to look this up. Oh, void room again. I don't like that. I would like to avoid it. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Good stream. Good night. <laughs> I feel like you've told me about amnesia memories before. Is is a uh, um, what the hell was the computer lab? Didn't we start in there? I feel like that's where I'm supposed to go. During the college prep interview and the interviewer. Oh no! I don't think I've ever get I've had any like serious embarrassing fart moments. At least not that I can remember. I try to not let those things phase me. You can play air hockey. I do love me some air hockey. This is not the right room. Um I guess I guess it was further down. Oh it's so it's just so dark. I just have- I just have so little concept of space or time. I've unfortunately decided to reject the concept of space and time. Oh, was it in here? Oh, I think it was. Oh, okay, wait, this is where they were talking to me. And I still just can't see well in the darkness. So before it closes, ran out to see, oh, safe travels, safe travels, Gabe, obtaining mischievous liquid. I'm, that's my, <laughs> I'm only calling alcohol that now. Finish all my homework early. <gasps> Jackie, congrats. Oh my God, that's the best feeling in the world. Like, oh, the only reason I'd ever miss homework is the feeling of getting it done. Otherwise, despise. <laughs> She did not, but they thought it was funny. I'm really glad. I never had to have any, like, interviews for the universities I applied to. Thankful for. I feel like that would have been a bit stressful. I feel like, as an adult, I'm very good at interviews. But I think as a kid, or when I was younger, I don't think I was. I'm just going to run down to the end of this hallway. Because I'm struggling to get to the end of this hallway. Oh my god, that literally shocked my body! Everybody. I'm alone in the darkness, I'm alone! Oh my god, final boss moment though. I don't actually know if this is the final boss, but it feels like it should be because she's on the cover of the game card or game thing. Um, oh, sorry, let me scoot back a little bit. Where am I going? right now um 
Because, you know, sometimes... Rico, what's going on? What's happening? It was a preparatory joke. One was for oh, college in Scotland. Those would be so cool. I really wanted to like do some international travel. Um, okay, so we good now? That was kind of cool. I liked the the visual effect. Um. Also, what? Ha what? <laughs> okay. Okay. Hello, Reiko. You look well today. My friend from the chat oh, said that she would come visit me here. It makes me so happy. I can't wait. Oh, Is that so? That's very nice of her. Make sure you're in good spirits for your visit. In good spirits? <laughs> Ghosts! <laughs> Isn't this like the exact opposite of what you were taught to do as a kid, though? Like meet up with strangers online, you know? Don't give strangers your personal information. Ooh, look at this a spooky message on the, the, the wall. Spooky. Oh my god, here's another diary that we can't pick up. Gotta go sleep. Good night, Anima. Thank you for the happy birthday. Sweet dreams. Oh, I don't know what way to go. really get like turned around oh, okay literally just got turned around <laughs> so that's where we just were can't go in that one void room I'll avoid it <laughs> University of St. Andrews and my counselor threw a temper tantrum because the demon of admissions interviewed me to attend the school was it supposed to, was that not was what the interview was supposed to be? Cat, I will save. I will have a little save. There you can have a little save as a snack. Oh, we've been playing about two hours, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like we're making good progress. Aside from my like tumble, there's three diaries that I have not been able to grab because I don't have a light still. Give Mary a light, 2020. Batteries? This feels like a place where batteries would be. If I was batteries, I think I would be on the show. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's a little rude. Like for the rest of the year, good luck with getting everything ready for your trip. Have a lovely time. And thank you for the birthday gift and the birthday messages so much. Jackie, you are such a wonderful friend, and I'm really thankful that I get to know you. Have a have a good travel. I hope everything goes really well. It's because I wanted to go to a prestigious school instead of a party college. Oh, oh. Some counselors, man. Can't see well in the darkness. Yeah. 
When do I get to see well in the darkness? When's it my turn? Should I have a flashlight by now? I just don't know. I feel like we've been in this room before. Or they just... Yeah, there's a diary on the bed. But I thought other stuff was different. Am I... Oh, I can hear some... Ooh, void room. Uh, static again. Here? Oh, an old cassette recorder. There's no tape in here. The tuning light is illuminated. It's broadcasting a local station. Oh. Can I change what station? I wonder if I'll be able to at some point. Huh. Batteries! <gasps> Callie! Callie's a gamer. Batteries? Maybe I can use these batteries? Maybe you can, baby! Wow, Kelly, I am so thankful you are here because I literally would not have thought of that, would have left it, and would have wandered around angry and confused for another, like, half hour. So, Kelly, uh, Kelly's shortening the stream, everyone. <laughs> I was like, it may be a college, um, but who actually takes it seriously other than generations of people who have gone? Oh! Oh, University of Georgia, I see, I see. Yeah, it, it's except I can't stockpile them. It like doesn't give me enough batteries to actually hoard them. It's just like, hey, find them if you are so lucky. <laughs> Maybe one day you'll get another battery. Oh, I forgot I could tur fast turn around. The number of times I have scared myself by turning around quickly because that's what the running button is if you press it twice. Um, <gasps> diary! Yes. Oh, it's two! So this is the order I'm supposed to find them in. Okay. Hmm? Mariko's mother gave her a cell phone when she came to visit. Our hospital allows these to cell phones in the lounge. It seems that in this day and age, one needs to be able to use a cell phone in a hospital as well. Her mother mentioned her upcoming busy schedule and that it would be difficult for her to come visit- Oh, no! To come visit Reiko again. So at the very least, they could still be in touch with the cell phone. Reiko surprised me with how full of life she was when she called her mother to test the new phone. She had a wonderful smile. Another diary, a memento from when that child was alive. Yeah, also when the nurse was alive! Should be batteries in her situation is a precious resource. It's kind of rude. It just feels very rude. I'm very hurt. <laughs> Hello? I like that the only reason I have to crouch is to find stuff. I saw Reiko having a good time. I asked her if anything good had happened, and it turns out she was using the cell phone to chat. It seems like she got the idea from a magazine article that was in the waiting room. She's been so happy. Sometimes I even hear her humming when I glanced at my phone. I had a message. It was from Reiko. She sent me a message when I was close by. She must really like her cell phone. This may be the best way for her to communicate with the outside world. It's like they want to guide me. Maybe they want me to read the diary? The cats? M-m-lady? m yeehaw <laughs> No, no, Siren, it's fine. I'm just being dramatic. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I'm just being a drama queen doing my job of being over the top. 
Uh, there, was there another one in here? The operating table hasn't been used in a long time. Ooh. I'm very afraid of getting surgery. I would like to avoid it for very long if possible. Glass is full of cracks. I bet someone threw this table at the glass. You know, context clues. Lungs. I have a feeling these people are breathing. Texting for the first time. I remember texting for the first time. I wonder who my first text was to. It probably was like my parents or my sister, I guess. Yeah, I hardly, hardly text people. I use, like I was talking about this, I use like Facebook Messenger for most communications. So when it was down, it felt really weird, right? I was like, oh, I can't, I got Snapchat, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, gotta got use something else. And like, oh my God, and there were all those services you could text to, like there were the ones that you could text questions to uh, and get them answered. And it was like real people answering them. I remember learning that at some point. I don't remember what that was called though. All right, y'all, we, we got a diary in here anywhere? Oh, hello, we do. Oh, this is the ghost guiding us, not the cats. I'm sorry. Diary four. Did we already read diary three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I went to the hospital room today, there was a cracked cell phone on the floor. No, recently she's been having, getting, having trouble getting in touch with her mother. Oh, no. How long has she been at the hospital after such a long stay? She must have... to finish reading that i gotta stop clicking so fast okay wait so we have three and four okay so she's chatting and when she does they only fight about it she probably got upset and threw the cell phone in frustration i'm sure rico regrets it she knows how busy her with work her mother is i told her i would ask the head nurse if reiko would be able to use the hospital phone of course she wouldn't be able to use it whenever she wanted but she'd be allowed to use it for 20 minutes before it lights out she can also chat from the pc in the lounge maybe i'll teach her to do that tomorrow oh my first text was to this guy i had a crush on when i was in a bowling league <laughs> siren that's so cute oh my god a bowling league crush that's adorable <laughs> Bowling our hearts away. I miss bowling. I haven't been in so long. I used to go with like camp staff. Okay, so I think we should go. Yeah, it looks like we can't go down. So we have to go back up. I don't know if it's going to be like angry time still though. So it was spooky last time. Um, okay, I think we're okay. Nope. <laughs> it feels so funny. Oh, that's a ghosty sound. A diary? He was a cute emo boy in the teenage group, and he was the first high school boy I had a crush on. Cute. There hasn't been much word from Reiko's mother. She seems to hardly answer the phone. It always goes straight to voicemail. Oh no! Bad vibes. I hope that she's okay. Reiko's health seems really... Seems to get better whenever she receives calls from her mother, and I was hoping she would be strong enough for an operation soon. But she's been really down lately, like when I first met her. Every time I go see Reiko, she seems to get lonelier and lonelier. I wish there was something I could do... It's so sad. Gee, welcome back. Do you want to know the sad story of my first crush? Sure. The nurse was watching over the child even after she became a ghost to continue to protect her. Nurse, ghost, 10 out of 10. Um, who was my first crush? I think I actually recently saw my first crush on dating apps again. I was like, I wonder if we'd match now. I don't know if I'd want to. Yeah, I don't know if I'd want to match with you now. If that was like elementary school. Not the dating apps, of course, just the question. <laughs> Cause I didn't date I didn't date till I was uh in college, so or like really. Is 
our ghost in here. I think the other notebook is in the um, the room with the creepy toy. So my first crush wasn't until sophomore year when I was in high school. His name was Lauren, and I was like, oh my god, he's cute. And I never had the crush to talk to him. Aww. That do be how crushes. That do be how crushes are. It's just, it's scary. It's scary to talk to a crush. Can we look at this now? It just says it's a toy. Um, in my honest opinion, I don't think that's just a toy. Oh, was it not in here? Was it in another? Oh, maybe it was in another room. Perhaps. I'm wrong. Ooh. Phone. Yeah. So when the Halloween dance came around, he came to our dorm because I went to boarding school. He was wearing a Columbia jacket that was gray and maroon polo and khaki jeans. Was he dressed up? Was it a costume? Or was it real clothing? <gasps> Ooh. Hello. He walked in, looked around, and sat next to me. I thought this was fate. I thought this was my moment. Everything is now. I'm scared, Gabe. It's been one week since Rake was operation. Her progress is less than ideal. There were no complications with the surgery itself, but her condition doesn't seem to be improving at all. Conversely, it seems the stress from the operation has left her worse off. Oh no, she spent the last hour crying in my arms, but now she's sleeping quietly. Her eyes are still puffy, though. It's irritating that the only comfort I can give to her is holding her close. Also, it seems that she's checking her chat site less frequently. I wonder what happened. Maybe I'll take a look next time. Hearing the star, I can feel like the nurse's emotions. She's trying to tell me something. It sounds very gossip, girl. Ah! Should I go to the... Oh, the phone's ringing. The phone. Started chatting and he talked to everyone. I was sitting around and then we had a very good night. He leaves but walks to my room and gives me a hug and leaves. Oh! That's kind of cute though. That's a cute ending. A nice little cozy hug. To be fair, I don't think I ever hugged most of my crushes through high school, so. <laughs> the next day I told my best friend what happened and she was like, OMG, are you serious? And asked some questions, I didn't want to ruin anything, so I told her the name Lauren. Oh. And on the way, make preparations on the first I need to get to the first floor, but how do I get there? Um. She was like, Johnson. I said yes and burst out laughing and crying. She was just speaking boyfriend and girlfriend this morning. No, Gabe. I gotta call a phone. I gotta call a phone. Terrell shattered in front of me and I died. I walk around some guys like, oh no. Aww. That's heartbreaking. What? Wait, what did I pick up? <laughs> this one? Yeah. Yeah. 997, 447, 619. The next four years they teased us and everybody said we were husbands and now they're dating and gonna get married! Oh my life. No. Oh my gosh. That's, that's stressful. I remember I had a crush on this kid in middle school and uh, he started dating this girl that at one point told me that if I was a guy, I'd be a four out of 10. And I've just remembered that so clearly, like what a weird thing to say to someone. <laughs> like, ma'am, it was in science class too. I was like, leave me alone. This is my favorite class. <laughs> I just want a science. That'd be a beautiful man. Mer. <laughs> hmm. Shall we hack in? Perhaps? No? Okay. <gasps> a cell phone. 
he did not want me to have that phone. Oh my god, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like doctors. <sighs> Make an ugly goal. You never know. You know, you know, you never know, right? Sometimes I'm very curious about how I'd actually look, but I'm pretty confident in uh my being being who I am right now. So when my crush told me he was gay, my heart shattered, but he told me he'd still be my friend. Became my best friend until we both quit bullying. Cute. So, you know, friendship is also very good, so. Is this the first floor? Where are we trying to get on the first floor anyways? Oh, the surgery room, right? And they were like, prep the thing. The thing. Da -ba -da -ba -da -da -ba -da. Beep, 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 beep. Ooh. Beep, beep. I love this song. Kind of sounds like Miku. <laughs> Miku? Are you there? All right, I have some of the most interesting funny stories ever. Oh, good or that? Ooh. Fracture the left leg, bruise on the left torso, patient is in significant pain. Stories you're like, that only happens. <laughs> it's a game thing. That was us! We were in the hospital. I called it, we're dead. This hospital. When they got into that accident, this is where I was taken. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I called it. You look better today. How do you feel? I feel very poggers. Yeah. Can I... Can I ask you something? What is it? The day of the accident. I was... I was supposed to meet somebody here. She was the chat hospital. friend! She was the I chat friend! Met them in the chat room. I only know their screen name. She was the chat I'm friend! Sure they were staying here. At the oh my god! The screen name was Koroneko. And Koroneko is the person that messaged us at the start of the game! You know who that is? Yes. That patient actually left the hospital a few days ago. Really? I'm sorry though. I can't give you any more information regarding a patient. It's because she died? I understand. Is it because she died? Oh yeah, Kyoko, she was the nurse in charge of me. Why did Kyoko become a ghost? I'm assuming she's not alive. Oh, I don't want to be too bold. I don't want to make an ass out of you and me, but, uh... It's typically... Typically the, <laughs> the way things go. Hmm? Hello? Hello? Oh, is this the guy yes. we Why talked to? Why are you to? calling on this phone? I'm to transport to the hospital. Worry about that. Now, listen to me. There are many locations within the mnemonic abyss. A mnemonic abyss! That's what it's called. The Karumia hospital. What do you mean? Basically, whoever's been trying to people at the mnemonic abyss is a black pig to stare. Oh my god, dog. Hello? Should I think about this? 
The girl did, obviously. Y'all were chatting with her. Oh, God. Where is the scary thing? Oh. But she's lonely. The game really just answered itself. <laughs> Oh my god, is she just killing everyone one by one? Is that what happened? Does she know we were her friend? Do I gotta run away again? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh god, okay. I don't know where I should go. I guess the exit? Oh, should I call? Where would I go? Here? Um. Um. Not stairs. Where do I don't know what to do? Come on, come on. We were out. We were out. Pick up my emotions. No! Should I try and get to... Should I try and call his phone number, maybe? Oh, my God. Okay, I'm gonna run this way. See where that takes me. Exit, maybe? But I don't think we can actually, like, go anywhere if we leave, but... Oh, yeah, it's just void. Okay. Um, hmm. Oh, oh, uh. Oh. Oh, another diary. Nine? I hope that's where we're at. Mariko's condition is quite serious. She gets thinner and thinner each day. Oh, and she's all but stopped eating. No matter how hard I press, she doesn't seem to have the appetite. I think one of the reasons is that she hasn't been able to get a hold of her mother at all. No! Actually, there's been an issue with the accounting department since she missed last month's payment? I'm worried about her mother. When I went to see Reiko just now, she told me to leave her alone. But I began just stroking her hair in silence. She let me. She's just being stubborn. She must be feeling very lonely. She told me that next week an internet friend is coming to see her, except the friend is gonna get in the car accident. Seems like the only thing she has to look forward to. I hope that gives her an opportunity to cheer up. Meeting a friend from the internet? Yeah, you! <laughs> Meeting you! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Mr. Okibi Okishibi d passed away today at 3.50 p.m. I will never be able to forget his smile. And when he said he felt like he had a new grandchild, I've cried for many patients that I've seen in my career, but this is the first time I've ever cried this hard. It's embarrassing for a nurse when she has to be comforted by her colleagues, but I couldn't help it. Seeing Reiko crying hysterically, clutching, clutching Mr. Kibishi's bed, it was just unbearable. Mm. Okibishi and the nurse are connected to that child? Yeah! Where's the ghost spray bottle when you need it? <laughs> spray like... Nope! <laughs> Out of this house! Okay, I don't think I need to look at all these cupboards. I, I've, d I've discovered the game really does not mean to look, need me to look at every single thing ever. Just some things. In background, I'm going to save again.
Okay, there's still a recording I need to do somewhere. I'm still getting the like staticky sounds. Oh yeah. Hello? She didn't lie. <laughs> she got hit by a car. Oh my god, this poor child. Oh my god, what a poor, lonely child. Yeah, she deserves a huge hug. Oh, I can, I can literally pull the elevator door open. Nice, us. I'm pretty strong. <laughs> I'm trying to brag, but uh, I lived. Um. Oh, I can go down. I can go down now. Basement. Oh, I can't go down. Hmm. Oop, no. Oh. I hope there was nothing down there. <laughs> um. Hello, Chloe. How you doing tonight? Welcome in. Much, much ghost activity has happened on this fine evening. I don't know what to do. My colleague Hina was complaining about... Oh, also, how you doing? <laughs> I don't know if I said that. But Reiko's recent attitude, her illness isn't getting better, and it's taken a toll on her psychologically. Oftentimes, she takes it out on nurses. It puts me in a really difficult position. It seems like Hina has built up a lot of stress, so I just let her vent. But Reiko overheard her. I was so careless. She hasn't talked to me since. Even worse, she just throws the food on the floor. We used to be so close. I'm not sure that we'll ever be able to savage our relationship now. Oh no! What's a fear of yours that you believe everyone else would find silly, non-fear-inducing? Mine is whistling at night because in my culture you're... Oh, calling on it! I... Okay, this sounds bad. I, I used to whistle at night to... She lied when she said that Krononeko had left the hospital. Wait, yeah. Um, what? Oh, fear. Uh, oh yeah. I used to I used to whistle at night to make other people afraid of me because I would bike home and I'd be really scared. Um, so I whistle, <laughs> so I would sound like the creepy one. <laughs> um. I, I have a big fear of finding a sunken ship when swimming. Uh, that's definitely like an irrational fear because I know it like wouldn't hurt me if I found one. It's just conceptually very scary to me. Very scary. <laughs> Chloe just wanted a friend or a mom to stay with her. She did. Oh yeah, so Chloe. So we're at the hospital. So 
I believe what the plot is, is there's this ghost girl that's been drawing us all to the Mennonitic plane. I don't remember if that's the right term now. The words have fallen out of my brain. Um, but like this plane of reality between existence and death because we were all like connected to her somehow and the character we're playing as right now Rin we're figuring out that she was this like sick child's internet pen pal who is supposed to come visit her but ended up missing the visit because she got hit by a car <laughs> so she ended up in the same hospital but with like a broken leg <laughs> yeah we can't have a spooky game without a hospital it's not <laughs> not allowed <laughs> I just had dinner what'd you have for dinner Canadian geese. Okay, yeah, Canadian geese, scary. Giant moths, I could all, like, depending on the size of the moth, could also see as being scary. Like, I can handle, like, a like a this size moth, I feel like. But if we get, like, palm, palm territory. <gasps> Gyoza and spring rolls, yum. That sounds super good. Oh, oh I love a, a crunchy gyoza. Oh. I don't know. I still don't really know <laughs> where I'm supposed to be going. We're doing a lot of uh, just uh, trying every door and hoping one leads to plot. That was a, f a flickering flashlight. Rational fears, Canadian geese. My family makes fun of me. Geese can be like really aggressive though. Oh, and there are, there are void doors. We, there's some voids. We can't go in the voids. At least I haven't tried to go in the void. I don't think it's a good idea. How's the rest feeling? Good. I think I've I've either gotten more skilled at avoiding the ghosts or the ghosts aren't as aggressive. <laughs> aren't as aggressive uh, as the last time. Or at least, yeah, I'm not struggling as much with where to go. Oh, the key. Elevator key? To the second floor nurse's office. Can we take the elevator? No. <laughs> All gamers, pure, pure gamer skills. I'm only getting stronger by the minute. Can I go to the staircase? It was blocked off before, I think. Yeah, unfortunately the furniture on the staircase does make it physically impossible for me to go up it, so. I'll oh. You got What? <laughs> it's probably when I was little and I messed up messed with a good baby and the mama came oh no here to attack. Okay, yeah, because that's just void. That's just void. Maybe I'll have- I might have to call to get to a different room. Yeah, Canadian geese are scary. Their tongues are so creepy. And the, they have, like, the weird teeth and stuff. Yeah, why can't we just climb over that? We're, we're a young lady. We literally could just, like, shimmy up the side there. I've done worse. Uh... <laughs> I wish this was like Nancy Drew and I can call Bess and George. We we can call a different phone, I think, and try and um, teleport somewhere different. It keeps... Is there something around here I'm missing? Because it showed me her sitting there a few times, but maybe she's just waiting. Waiting for her friend to arrive? Yeah, Ghost, um, I, w I just- I just wanna know, you know... What's up? Uh... At least she's not attacking me. I don't know what to tell. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go in here. Maybe, maybe something will appear. Yeah, it's it's significantly less spooky if it keeps repeating. 
Oh, list of office procedures. That's not really what I'm looking for. Tell me what you're looking for. Brum, brum. But the fact that she keeps responding makes me think that there has to be like something I'm missing that I need to pick up. Cause usually she just like attack me, right? Oh, can I turn off my flashlight? I think I can actually wait. Oh, there's a map. I always forget there's a map. What if I just like... No, I don't know. I wonder if I should take a picture of her. That'd be weird. Is that gonna do something? Send. Oh, I'm gonna send it to the Wii message board. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Um. Fatal Frame. Oh my God, I wish. I really want to play those games. Look at the TV. Should I look at it when she's there too? Yeah, it's not giving me anything. Yeah, I can't sneak up on her. Um, I'll try and call the number that I think I had for the second floor and see if that works. Uh, what is the menu? Because <laughs> it, it really just seems like I can kind of use phone numbers once. I don't know if that's actually the case. I've collected all the diaries. Patient chart? That's my chart. I think, actually, the name for the chart thing. Oh, uh... I haven't called Makoto. Kyoko's letter. So she lost her husband. I don't think it's that one. If you could pick an accent to be your natural- Oh, English accent. Oh, for sure. I love it. <laughs> It sounds so pleasant to me. I think I talked about this before, but my mom lived in England um, through most of her 20s. So when she came back to Canada and met my dad, she had an English accent, which I think is very cute. She does not have an English accent anymore, but it's kind of adorable. Um, so this hospital director. There was one. Are we Irish or... Southern Belle also, though. I do also love... I love listening to Southern accents. There's something a bit comforting about them, I think. Okay, this is the one I was thinking. I'm gonna... Because I think I, like, lose the phone numbers, though, kind of after I use them. I swear, every time the game does that, it just... It breaks me a little bit more inside. It's just, it's such a, a little tricky, little tricky scare. I'm sad. The game, like, twice has just texted me the answer when I'm struggling with stuff, and I'm sad that it hasn't done that for a while. I don't think we're teleporting. I don't think anything's happening. How rude. Exactly, Callie. Exactly! I'm gonna eat my... Case it defiantly. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work. Ah! Oh.
I wonder if there was a phone number in the last journal we looked at? Okay, I guess I'll go look in every room. <laughs> I'm sure something's changed. Uh, Chloe, you're super welcome to. I'm totally fine with that, yeah. Cause well, I am down to brute force the game. I've already spent a lot of today being confused. I, like, didn't look close enough at a picture, and it made me, like, for, like, 20 minutes, I kept wandering around the same house, like, what am I doing? So, it's definitely possible I've missed staring close enough at a picture. <laughs> yeah, it is, it's just frustrating. Once I got it, it was like, okay, fine, you win, whatever. But, it, like, the game, it, it it's, it's, like, pretty linear, but at the same time, you do, like, loop back a lot because, like, things will change in specific rooms. Um, so, it's just a lot of double checking and in this case i'm trying to get to the second floor but i'm really i'm really not sure how it wants me to so at least i know what my goal is right but can i sleep just have a little nap uh i am oh my uh lamination i think the name of the chapter is lamination um because we talked about laminating my dead body. Though, yeah, so update on my life is when I die, uh, laminate my dead body. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> I wonder if I am supposed to go downstairs. I wonder if it is this. And I actually uh, messed up. Good, I know. It's, it's important to have a death plan, right? I want to make sure that when I die, exactly what I want to happen happens to my body. <laughs> what if you laminated your tattoos? I wonder, like, what it would look like after a while. I guess, like, it, it'd have to be some, like, nice form of lamination, though, because I feel like it wouldn't really seal it well enough to preserve it, right? This is kind of gory, but... <laughs> Go into the treatment room. But wait, let me open my map. Let me press every button until one of them is the map. Okay. Hallway. Uh, treatment room. Ugh. Wouldn't the skin just turn into leather if you laminate it? Oh. Maybe. Maybe that's what I want. Is it in the drawers? Am I supposed to squat? Is this a squat moment? We haven't had a lot of squat moments. Anything look grabbable? Is there like a <laughs> passageway? I guess I should look for maybe another phone. You can't care if your skin turns a little bit. Exactly. Exactly. So it's like the illusion of choice. <laughs> I get to pretend that I'm choosing. The wall is crumbling. Oh, am I gonna do the kick through the wall? Honestly, it doesn't seem like a bad idea, all things considered. You have to call a number. Oh, I have to find the number. All right, game. There should be a diary. Um, if it's... Oh, I thought that was a diary on the bed, and I was like, if that is a diary, I'm gonna bite someone. If it's any diary but diary number 11, I might have already got it. Does it say what number diary? Maybe there's... Unless it doesn't have a number and it's a completely separate diary. If a vampire bit a zombie, would the vampire turn into the zombie or the zombie into a vampire? I have no clue. Number 10, I think. 
I don't think there was a number in that one. I call it Hina. Was complaining about her attitude. Maybe I need to call Hina. Ten is one. Of, okay, I have, I have it. I have it. Is do they give you anything after that in terms of what to do? I wonder if I have Hina's phone number. Um, maybe that's. I don't know. Then maybe go to the nurse's station? Where's, which, wait, which one, wait, what, uh, it just says to call a certain number. I'm so confused. I guess I... I'll call... Let me go down to this desk. In case there's something here I missed. Um... Because she's just the thing appearing here. So it's not like I can record the static from... Go towards the elevator. I, I've, I've got... Oh, I have a key. Have I used the key? Wait. Oh, the key's for the second floor. <laughs> I have a key. I have a key. Yeah, I have the key to the nurse's station. Okay, I need... I just need to call... I, I'm gonna look at my numbers. I'm gonna figure out what I need to call. I thought I chose the right number. Um... Maybe I need to call my own phone number. I don't remember what my phone number was. I'm gonna try this one. 997-116-286. Let's just see. Let's just see what it, uh... Oh my god, the little sneaky faces! 997-116-286. I guess I'm just supposed to know what to do all the time. Which it does, it does it look, or it doesn't look like we're teleporting. Doesn't look like we're fading. Okay, no. Different one. Um, that's the right number? Did I just not give it long enough? I'll give it more time. Did I get impatient? I wonder if I've missed something. I Maybe I've missed something? Uh, maybe I just didn't wait long enough. Oh, now it's working! I guess I just didn't type it right. <laughs> That's embarrassing. That's, that's embarrassing content right there. This is good. Okay. We have to be maybe. Now we're back with our dear friend. Batteries inside this toy are dead. My close peer. Can you can you not tell? <laughs> young lad out for a, a bike ride today. <laughs> so, is he right? It looks like a jigsaw. <laughs> Alright, I don't actually know um, where the room... I have no phone! Oh, is there a phone in here I can grab? Yes, good. Okay. I don't want to exist without my cell phone. I can't live in that world. Nurse station. What? Oh, I'm on the third floor. I need to get this to the second floor. <laughs> I was like, I'm here? Where do you want me to go? Alright, it's convenient how fast... 
she runs, but then a cat jump scares us. <laughs> it's, a bit, it's a bit rude. Um, okay. Cat! Uh, not all of us can void hop. <laughs> what is the point of that? What? What does it mean? <laughs> what does it mean? Was it this room? No? Muska is leading me astray. All right, well, I'm gonna continue on my drastic run down the hall. Thank you, cat. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I was supposed to look in every single room, but I have a key to one of them, so I wanna go to that room. <laughs> Key, yes. Key, Callie, this is so cryptic of you. I like that they're like, we're taking you back to your room. Takes them to the bathroom. <laughs> That's not my room. Unlocked. I didn't even know this was locked, so. All right. What's the, uh, what's the lore? Journal number 11. Seven? What? I was missing one? I had heard that internet forums and chat rooms were quite harsh, but it's quite shocking to actually see it for yourself, especially when someone you know is being targeted. Oh my god, they were cyberbullying the child! How could they write such horrible things? Having spent so much time in the hospital, disease is just part of Reiko's daily life, so it makes sense that there would be so many topics about it, but they tease and harass her! <gasps> they don't know what kind of life she has to live or her family situation. Does that mean they can say whatever they want? It's just horrible. Oh my god! This poor child! The chat room, could it be? This child is, like, sick with an illness. Her mom is never coming to see her. She broke her cell phone. <laughs> and now people are cyberbullying her! That person, the sickly one, Kroneko. Sickly, I guess she does mention the hospital a lot. It's like, what am I supposed to say to her? Yeah, I guess it's kind of a downer. She just doesn't have many friends in the hospital. I'm sure it's tough, but I don't want to feel bummed all the time. It's kind of tiring dealing with her. Maybe she's just making it up as a joke. Yeah, I wondered about that too. Some people do weird stuff on the internet. What? No way. People never do weird things on the internet ever. <laughs> They'll invent stuff just so people feel sorry for them. Making it up, that's such a mean thing to say. Oh, that's Rin! That's us! <gasps> that's us! Why are you defending her? I think it's lame to say all this stuff, guys. What? Not like you know the truth. Maybe Rin is Kuroneko. Ha! Man, oh now it all makes sense. Don't be ridiculous. Is it true? Are you having fun being jerks? What, are you the morality police or something? The morality police? This is a chat room, we're just having fun. Yeah, at the expense of others. This is getting too heated, I'm done for the day. Yeah, me too. Guess that's it for today, way to drive everyone away. Yikes, thanks Rin. Kroneko left. Oh, cause Rin didn't reply. Rin. Oh, she's still on. What? It's the chat room I used. Why is this? Rin, like, hasn't figured out that the ghost is the child that she went to try to visit at the hospital when she broke her leg. But I have! <laughs> to be fair, I don't know if the ghost has figured it out either. <laughs> I love, like, hearing the Wii absolutely chugging. <laughs> like, oh, what are we loading? What are we loading, friend? Um, anything else up here? Probably not. It's probably not worth checking for again. Really committed to this. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Wow, people on the internet are the worst confirmed. 
Um, I'm gonna actually, this is my uh, internet retirement stream announcement. Um, I'm never going to again. Internet. <laughs> wow, look at these drawers full of things that we cannot, ah, oh, spooky writing. If only I could comprehend. <laughs> Well, um, I was about to complain. I was gonna be like, oh, you know how I like had a direction and knew where I was going and now I don't? Just kidding. I got a direction, all right. Direction, D -d just one of them. And there's no Harry involved in this one. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Uh, room? Not room. Upstairs. <laughs> the, the, this is a pretty linear game. I feel, like, bad about complaining earlier about getting confused when it, it like, for the most part leads me the exact way I should go. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. What was that cat for? I still haven't figured out the cat thing. I still would like more context for the cat. Oh? This is the computer room. The, 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 there's a cat that just appears and seems to be leading us places, but like doesn't, it doesn't lead anywhere. There you are. It's kind of, it's very confusing. Oh. You look well today. It's almost time for your tests. Come on, the doctor is waiting on the first floor. Are we gonna go back to the first floor? Do I have to call the other phone? Oh, is this one? Yeah, I exactly! Muska, my son! I, I feed you all the time. Oh no. I just cost people money. I can't help with anything. My mom would be happier if I just went away. Oh my god. I bet that's what everybody thinks. Don't say that. Yeah. Some people say mean things, but not everybody's like that. You're just saying that. I was happy to make friends online, but now it makes me sad. Yeah, you're still here. Ignore the peanut gallery. Oh, what? Oh, passerby. Rude. Ignore the peanut gallery. I'll come meet you. It'll be nice to talk in person. Really? Yeah, I'll come to the hospital. You really gonna come here? Yeah, I promise. We'll talk as long as you want. Let's use a private chat room so strangers don't interrupt us. Thanks. I'll be waiting for you. And then she gets hit with a car! The drama! The d d drama! Just as I thought. Kuroneko, who I promised to meet, was Reiko Asag <laughs> Asajiri. Oh, is this hard? Just what I thought. You took a long you took a long time to get to that thought. I'm just gonna say Rin. I I've I picked this up a lot quicker than you did. She just wants a friend. Ghost hit her with the car. No, the ghost didn't hit her with the car. She got hit with the car. Going to see the girl. That becomes the ghost or was already possibly the ghost i don't know when she died exactly i promised i'd come but i got into that accident <gasps> oh my god i think we saw this cutscene earlier. Oh my god. I didn't have the context though, and now I do. Oh my god. I don't believe it, I thought it was a dream, but they were my memories. Kroneko. Is that Kroneko? Uh, 
the outfit she's wearing reminds me a lot of another game, but I can't think of the name of it, but I feel like it's a rare PlayStation 2 horror game that has a spooky lady. <laughs> Very descriptive. Go still waiting. There's a friend. Waiting. Kroneko is still waiting. Yeah, we saw her sitting and waiting. On the first. Oh, I bet that's where we should go. I bet that's where we should go. Uh, what number? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what the. Blah, 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 blah. Ha! Ah, how do people speed run this? How do people speed run Wii games? I feel like I can never get it to go where I need it to. Um, Ginsart? Yoshi. Okay, okay. 997-447-619. What if one of your phone numbers was like incredibly close to this? People who speed run Wii games, will she be? Yeah! They got they have they have a, a spirit that I can't compete with. <laughs> a dedication to the craft. <laughs> I've I've I know people have speedrun the uh the iCarly Wii game. I think it's a Wii game? I know there's an iCarly game. Maybe I'm just mixing up my games. Am I teleporting? Is it fading? Yes. I have a hard time telling. <laughs> My fear thing's going. A phone? I can't see well in the darkness. What? What happened to my flashlight? Oh, it's because it's spooky time. So you were... Kuroneko. Will you listen? Listen. Listen to what I have to say. I didn't break our promise. I Is this gonna be the end? I thought there was a few more hours of this. <laughs> but I got into an accident. I was taken taken to this hospital. The funny thing is, I was in the bed right next to yours. They were so close. If if I had woken up a bit sooner. But it's just an excuse, I know. I couldn't keep our promise. I'm sorry. I know it's too late, but I'm sorry. Would you move I'm your spooky so hospital bed there. next to me? <laughs> Let's be ghosts in the hospital together. <laughs> it's only... Only a matter of time. Before I become part of this world. She's like, don't worry, I'll die soon. <laughs> then I'll be here for you. With Karneko. Aww. You won't be sad anymore. You can forget your bitterness. Yeah, stop being bitter. <laughs> it's fine. You're fine. I, I feel like this is the ending. Right? Like... I guess there was that other guy, but... I guess we have to get out, maybe?
Oh, what? What is happening? What? What? What's go what is hap- what? What's happening? Am I supposed to follow? Up? What? <laughs> it keeps happening! I don't know. That's like we're freaking out. Like our fear is super high. I guess we're following her? Okay, I'm glad that the ghost like phases forward so I can run and not walk the entire way. Is it not this way? Is it in the room? Oh, 302, I think, yeah? <gasps> Again? No. Stop it. No! This is a bad ending. Oh, but I'm here this time. I'm here this time. Oh. I'm here this time, but she's a ghost. Oh. the game whoa I thought it was a lot longer than that what did I what <laughs> I'm yeah that super felt like she was like y you said you'd be joining me in the future you're joining me now oh my god was that is there multiple endings did I get a bad because <laughs> I never there's a whole other character in the game we interacted with once Oh, according to the walkthrough, there's an extra chapter. Is it like after this? Or is it like if I do the right thing? Because there's a whole other guy that like I don't think dies. Open my save file. Okay. What about the cat? Yeah! What about the cat? Weird, I thought this would be like at least three streams. This was a, the takes to beat time for this was like 10 hours, I thought. Maybe only two people have played it and neither of them had anyone helping them <laughs> when they got stuck so they just wandered for hours. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair. I've been there. I've done that a few times. <laughs> Wow. Well, that was like a legitimately scary game. And like, what fun concept design. I guess I shouldn't say my like ending thoughts until like the official ending, right? Because apparently there is more. I should have called that other guy. I should have been like, hey, dude, how you doing? How's it going? I just wanted to hear your voice, you know, it's been a little bit. I just wanted to catch up. I just wanted to chat. Head of Europe. Yeah, I wish more Wii games utilized the speaker and the Wii remote. I can't think of many that do. This is actually the only one I can think of that does. Oh no, uh, WarioWare did. WarioWare did for like, there was like the calling mini game where the, the phone would ring and you had to like pick it up quickly. Love WarioWare. Okay. Oh! <laughs> this game in 
WarioWare and so much in common. It's basically the same game. Hello? I'll never forgive. Never. So some of the audio is purposefully pretty choppy because it's like, it's not the worst speaker. Some of it can be pretty clear. Oh my God, okay. <gasps> the old lady, no! Oh. Calling is just a WarioWare spam. <laughs> it's the same game. <laughs> okay, I'm glad she survives. You know, she deserved that. Grandma, Grandma it's me. It's me. It's me. Take. 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 I'm so glad. Hold on. Hold on. I'll go get everyone. Dad, the grandma Mom, survives. Grandma's awake. Grandma's awake. <laughs> She had she had a cute story. She got to like see her her dead husband. Oh my god, there's a missed call from him. Grandma is possessed by the ghost of a little Oh my god, no. No. A child. Received a hidden chapter for me, a gift. <laughs> you bless me with a gift. Okay. Let's go. Yes, save. Okay, so it, it took me like six hours, bas basically. I don't know how long this last chapter is gonna take. Maybe this last chapter is four hours. So maybe that's the like, key element <laughs> you know the, the, the it's it's the post the post game that really uh you know is the real game <laughs> Ooh. should i pick up i don't i basically am a calling i wonder what the like actual speed run times are for this <laughs> The monomic abyss! Monomic abyss! <laughs> Makoto. Oh, so now we're playing as the guy! He has like a, a fairly unbuttoned shirt, so you know he's very hip. He's got a lot of chest happening. <laughs> for me. He did it for me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, look at all that chest! In a vest. <laughs> chest in a vest. What is this room? Why am I here? Oh my god, it's a weeb! <laughs> no! <laughs> a weeb's room! <laughs> what inedible things did you eat or try to eat as a child? Mine was Play-Doh and bugs. Play-Doh? Uh, crayons? I think I munched on some red. An hour, seven minutes is the speed run. I guess they probably skipped all cutscenes. That's insane. My colleague Zedo fell unconscious. A few days later, he died. And now I'm in a weeb's room. <laughs> Gonna get- Oh! Enjoy cookie. Enjoy. Just like the victims in the cases he was investigating. He must have been close to figuring it all out. He- Cracking this baby wide open. Oh, I obtained his notebook. There are plans to do a special feature on the black page in our next issue, so I thought I'd prepare by doing some investigating. To be honest, there's a lot I can't figure out, but there are two things I do know. There's a site called The Black Page, a page links to a chat room. Anyone can view The Black Page. Many occult-related forms link to The Black Page, but I couldn't find any clues yet. It seemed there might be some criteria that are required, so I've decided to look into cases that are said to have been caused by The Black Page. I found this in his desk. I want a cookie. It led me to The Black Page. <laughs> I keep wanting to call it the Black Plague. <laughs> I'm connected to the chat room, and then... What happened to me? I wonder if this is the room of the, like, nerdy guy who died. The man. Ooh. Oh. This, this, is a, this is a pretty big room. Who's your first memory of using the internet? I was dial up. What's my first memory of using the internet? I have no clue. Um. Gosh. 
probably watching YouTube. Also, sorry, the flickering is in, in the game, if you're noticing that the screen is flickering. Um, probably, yeah, watching, like, the How to Be a Ninja videos on YouTube. I feel like those are pretty early memories. Or webkins. A phone. Hello. Oh? Did I not pick up? Oh. Well. I hope I didn't hang up on the ghost. The first thing I remember is my friends playing up YouTube when I was seven watching. Like, was it the jump scare video with the like, oh god. Uh, with the with driving. Oh my god, RuneScape. Where's Bursali? He would be so happy. I'm gonna save again. <laughs> Just so I'm saving in this very exclusive cool bonus chapter or neopets oh my god oh yeah neopets was before webkins the figure of a girl with an umbrella it says i already on the name tag oh so i can oh huh m'lady all right um i'm assuming i'll have to maybe do a little puzzle with this large tv the speakers look expensive they're all hobby magazines this is like such a, a nice setup. Poster for a show called Arm Soldier Makeup? Sol soldier? Box. Shoebox under the bed. What secrets are in store? Oh, we can't even look at it. The TV turn off? No. Card game? Wonder if they play Magic the Gathering. Oh, password protected. Arm soldier. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's the name of the, the show, right? Mako? Yeah, Mako. I bet that's the password. Password. I'm hacking in M A K. I wish my passwords could be so short and simple and sweet. Back with cookie. What type of cookie? Oh, we're back in the chat room. Why is this page open? <laughs> Good evening. Hi there. Hello, Anonymous. Good evening, Anonymous. Wow, packed hours. Didn't think there'd be that many people. Since you're here, I'm guessing you've heard some rumors, right? Something like that. LOL. Why are all you here tonight? Because we heard the rumors too. I wanted to check it out. The rumors that you can talk to the dead? I wonder if it's true. Okay, this is the same thing we heard at the start of the game about the magazine. I'm talking about the high school girls that died. Um, hi there, Kroneko. Oh, we got a phone number, we got a phone number. Pumpkin whoopee cookie with cream cheese frosting. That sounds so good. You added the phone number to the notepad. You can check the phone numbers, which you have accumulated by opening your notepad you can access oh my god is there actually like four hours of post game <laughs> c button oh what it's pretty good <gasps> made the most yum also your video today with the sunday the fun day um i want to eat <laughs> very badly <laughs> it looked really good item notepad can you use it to record phone numbers? Where is it? Wait, how do I access it? I messed up somehow. Oh, there we go. Okay. <gasps> Whoa! Look at that! Whoa! Okay, nine, nine, seven, six. <gasps> so I think this is a prequel, technically. This seems like it might happen, might have happened before the game happened. So tasty, you should try me. <gasps> yeah, I want to. I like bananas and chocolate and ice cream together. Okay, I think we're teleporting. Maybe it is. Maybe it is Cali. Because I think that's where he is right now. Huh? What's going is on? It? I just made a phone call. That's what you get when you call you call the numbers of strangers. You end up in the Mennonic Abyss. That's what you get. 
When you let... I can't see well in the darkness. No. Oh my god, my enemy in life. Please turn on. Ugh. Uh, ma'am? Sato's memo one. And this might happen, but now it has. It's hard to believe. This is just like the beauty salon I went to investigate, but it doesn't seem to be the same place. There's no exit. No, to be more accurate, there's a... There is a door, but there's nothing beyond it. Only a void. No ground, no sky, just nothingness. I flew a magazine that was laying around to see what world would happen, but it vanished from my sight without making a sound. It would be too reckless to I don't know. I think we should go in the void. <laughs> Interesting. That's suspicious. <laughs> That's weird <laughs> i think that people have lost consciousness must have experienced what i am right now somewhere between life and death i'll call it the mononic abyss oh so he named it wow why do you have to name it so <laughs> such a weird name i can't even like look at this oh it's a fake ad okay but still creepy tamed cell phone Books are full of cutting techniques for stylists. Cutting edge techniques? I should learn that. The only reason I feel like I'd really want to go to a beauty school is just so I could finally learn how to cut my own hair well. A note. Drifter's Memo 9? I still I still miss Drifter's Memo 1 through like 7. Fake head might honestly be <laughs> true. Real head, actual horror. Fake head, uh, horror? Maybe it's scary. <laughs> I'm gonna calm down and write down everything down. Just moments ago, I was on the internet in my room. Then I was suddenly taken to a chat room and I couldn't go back or close my web browser. So I decided to see what they were saying. After a while, someone with the handle Kuroneko entered the chat room. And then I got a phone call. I don't remember answering it. I'm sure it's safe to assume that the phone call was the cause, but that chat was pretty suspicious too. Oh, so he was like forced. I feel like everyone else was there kind of voluntarily. Gonna need a key. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Coffee? Cat. Oh, oh I'll save sure. <laughs> this this game really lets me save a lot, and I haven't died once, so. <laughs> Which, like, pr honestly, really good for my own records. Like, I feel like every game I play ever, like Nancy Drew games, always die. Except for that one that you can't die in. Looking at you, creature of Kapu Cave, not letting me kill Nancy, despite having it as a point redemption. <laughs> hey chat, let's kill Nancy, except we can't. Okay, let's go find a key. Can I leave? Lore. The door that leads to the staff room wasn't locked. Rather careless if everyone has gone home for the night. Something strange, and I've been feeling like someone's watching me. I don't want to stay here long. It was so frustrating. It was silly. Pricing for haircuts. How much would it cost to fix my hair? One dollar? I know! Why make a game that has literal lava and, like, the possibility of drowning? <laughs> Just, like... <laughs> mm. No, Nancy can't die. That's the key. Oh, that's not the key. That's, oh my god. Wait, it's nine o'clock? What? Whoa. Oh my god, my stream. I fucked up the stream so it looks like it started later than it did. I've been off about how long I've been streaming all this time. That's actually really funny. Um... <laughs> <laughs> wow, you ever stream for four hours, but like not feel like you've been streaming for four hours? Cause you're just so into the game? Obtained key. Oof. Oh my god, is it a ghost with scissors? Are you gonna cut my hair? Oh, she's just cutting ghost- it's just a ghost cutting ghost hair, it's not a problem. That's not a problem, why are you freaking? Just uh, simmer down, bud. It's, it's fine. You're fine. 
wonder if this is gonna have a real head in it. Oh no, but it's a flashlight. Nice. Okay, well, the thing is, if the lights never went out, I wouldn't even need this, so... Oh! Okay. Is that our friend? Could that have been... Another notebook. First, the death of the female stylist of the beauty salon. Her name is Miri... Midori Kato, age 20. She was new to the job, only working there since the spring. According to the manager, she left after asking Midori to close. When she returned to work the next day, she found Midori passed out on the floor and cold to the touch. It seemed like she was fine yesterday without anything unusual to note. There was no evidence that there was a struggle in store. Excuse me, and her wallet was still in her bag. She also was holding her cell phone. I confirmed that the store didn't have a PC. There was nothing that led to the black page noticeably, but so much is unexplainable that it can't be completely ruled out yet. There he goes. It has to be Sato. Um, where are all these heads coming from? Don't lose your head. <laughs> Okay. I think um, I'm going to save here and because I'm assuming there's not a lot left. We'll pick up on this tomorrow probably at some point just to finish it out. Just because I'm getting tired. <laughs> we got a little sleepy. Um, how about some sit up Scott? Scott, you come into my home. You come into my home. <laughs> How you doing, friend? Okay. Here, wait. Can I even... Oh my god, I just knocked the switch over. Can I turn the camera? I don't... I haven't done this in a bit. I haven't done sit-ups on stream. Oh, what can we... I mean, my room's, like, pretty clean. There's my laundry basket. Oh yeah, we can leave the Hamburglar. Wow. What a group. <laughs> oh. oh, my floor is so slippery. My feet can't grip. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. This is, this is good. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> That's Ziva. That's my roommate's cat. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. I was like, why do you see so much of my legs? Have not pushed it up high enough. I came into your home mage. I know, Scott. Welcome in. <laughs> oh, I should have put on music. Um, yeah, Ziva's so cute. Oh, where is she? Little star. Little star of the show. Yes, no, she's like, goodbye. Goodbye. I am not participating. So these are two hypothetical Halloween costumes we uh, workshopped today. Um, my Nancy Drew. <laughs> I know. Uh, these are like... One of the few pairs of jeans I have that fit me right now. So it's a lot of mom jean energy. I used to have a pair of white mom jeans, um, but I can't find them now. I know hamburger would be great. I need to figure out something quick though. So I'm gonna have to try on costumes tonight. Um, if I could make that hamburger tie though, that would that would be peak fashion, I think. <laughs> Nancy Drew, she did the bitch. <laughs> Man, Mary gets in a fist fight with Nancy Drew. That's how the stream ends. I can't believe I've been streaming for so long. I was only planning on streaming for three hours. And then I was like, 
Seems like the game's ending. And Kylie brought me food, so really I'm thriving. <laughs> oh, I don't have any actual hats, but... I have the only hat that matters. Okay. Who should we raid? Anybody know anybody that's on right now? Um, anybody playing Calling? Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> only hats. GG today. Soft hands and acronyms. <gasps> Thank you, friend. Thank you. Stay healthy. I don't think anybody's playing Calling. Also, it's categorized as a pinball game on Twitch. That's a little silly. That's a little funky. I don't know what that's about. Oh my gosh, there's so much Pokemon Unite. I follow a lot of Pokemon streamers. Pinball, yeah, I don't, it's just, I, I don't think that any aspect of that game is a pinball game, but it's categorized as a pinball game. And I'm like, cause the plot is the same, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I don't know what Twitch wants. Oh, it's so weird. As the day goes on, my sub count lowers and lowers because it's been a month since my, um... Oh, and I played until dawn. <laughs> it keeps going down. That's okay. One day we will get the grudge game. The elusive, expensive grudge game. Uh, what was I gonna... Oh, rating. Thinking's really hard right now. I wonder if anybody's playing Nancy Drew. Oh! Oh! I already raided them recently. Ghost Dogs and Moon Lake has 43 viewers. Pog, let's go for it. I haven't played this one in forever and it's their first playthrough. Perfect. All right. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. Um... Oh, Sweetie Potato. Okay, wait. Do I follow them? I don't follow them. <gasps> I could be Daphne from Scooby-Doo. I don't know if I have any purple clothing, though. That's a lie. I have purple clothing. <laughs> <laughs> you ever just lie? You ever just lie on stream all the time about everything? You're being Daphne? <gasps> You're gonna be such a cute Daphne. I'll be Velma. Hmm. Okay. You'll raid Sweetie Potate. Okay, two other costumes. So many. I am so behind. I am so behind. I need to catch up. Callie did the raid messages. I'm gonna read Sweetie Potate. And I'm gonna edit a video and try on costumes. What a gamer, what a gamer girl. <laughs> Thank you all so much for hanging out tonight. I hope you have a good night and I will be streaming tomorrow for my birthday. I'll see you tomorrow, <laughs> maybe, for my birthday, yeehaw. <laughs> all right, good night everybody, bye-bye. We'll do this, right? <gasps> Mary loves me you. Holy cow, how is everybody doing? Oh, ugly girl, did you bring them over here?